Valley Sports. What a beautiful Saturday evening in Southern California as the Rangers Angels go head to head for game two of this four game weekend series. Here's on tap over the next 30 minutes. Hey, Shohei, he was on again last night pitching a gem. We'll definitely look back at that. Marsh and Adele been dominant on the base pass. Jose Moto will join to discuss an Angels. Yeah, they're trying to get themselves back to 500. That and so much more happens right here, right now, in just a minute <laughs> on Angels Live. Yes. When is it happening? <laughs> it was supposed to happen like 10 seconds ago. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of highlights there, though. Hey, let's get into this thing. Hey, Mark Uba's at Tim Sam, and then I'm just trying to keep it on the rails. <laughs> it's going to be Good great. Good luck with that one. It's going to be great. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, guys, uh, because of Shohei, we'll get into his performance in just a minute, but the Angels have won four of six on this homestand, have a chance to get back to the 500 mark for the uh, 26th time this season. That's tying a franchise mark set back in 2017. Gooby, when you look at the way the season has gone, all the adversity, the injuries, what type of accomplishment is it to stay around? that that line and maybe finish a couple games over yeah it's going to be huge for the team especially when you consider all the guys have been out for such yeah. a long period of time even when you look at the starting staff how different it looks from day one to where we're at right now you know the everyday lineup has been changed you got jack mayfield hit number four in your lineup you were expecting maybe anthony rendon in that spot but you know what they're playing good baseball joe madden said it yesterday he loves the way this team is playing baseball so hopefully going forward you'll be able to carry that into the rest of the season and in the spring training next year yeah i think it has a lot to do with the fact that you know what joe madden does this and with this coaching staff and just the morale they've kept there you know around yeah. the clubhouse I mean you got a lot of young guys coming and going you got some guys that have been given opportunities to play and I think you know Joe's just you know worked his magic you know weaved his magic among, amongst it all and you know given a lot of guys opportunities to play putting them in situations they'd be successful in and I think that says a lot about you know what his ability is and what the coaching staff's ability is but also what kind of players they have in the minor leagues these are guys that aren't too far away put in the right situations they've been able to perform and I, I I think that bodes well for the organization. Yeah, you put the opening day lineup uh, up against tonight's lineup. Boy, is that different in your uh, your starters as opposed to the starters that you have now available for the Angels. Uh, completely different that we saw at the beginning of the season. But uh, one guy that has not changed, he's been Mr. Consistent, that is Shohei Otani. And boy, was he at it again last night, Gooby. So much fun to watch. But it was his 20th start, ninth win of the season. All he does, seven innings, a career high, 117 pitches. I mean, he continues to impress. But what's stood out to you about his performance last night? When, when, when he needed to make those good quality pitches with runners in scoring position when the game was on the line, he was able to amp up that fastball, touching 100 miles an hour a couple different times. Eight strikeouts in the game. You mentioned 117 pitches, but 85 of them were strikes. I mean, that's a huge percentage of strikes in there for Shohei Otani. Even getting hit with a line drive back up the middle. All the things he did to be able to put the team in position to win the game last night, Tim, was purely phenomenal. We know what he does swinging the bat, but what he does on the mound for me is exceptional. Well, and I think, you know, here you are in August. We've always talked about how's he going to perform the dog days of August. He had probably one of his stiffest tests last night. I mean, you know, the fact that this Texas Rangers lineup, they fouled off a ton of pitches. They made him work. He had eight punch outs. He had two walks. He had a 13 pitch at bat. I mean, numerous foul balls. I mean, these guys made him throw a ton of pitches. And considering the conditions of where we're at in this season and the fact that he was able to go out there and bear down in that seventh inning and really just, you know, com completely finish the game on a high note for him and do what he needed to do to get that last at bat, I thought that was so impressive. It, it looks how he gets behind the baseball when he needs that little extra on his fastball. He has that good balance and drive towards the plate. You think of guys like Nolan Ryan and Tom Seaver and, you know, Max Scherzer, when the game is big and when the game is on the line, they go to that next level. And he went to that next level. And I think what Joe Madden allowed him to do in that game last night, I thought was phenomenal. You know, we, we, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, when you, when you consider the fact he's working all night long at 94 miles an hour and he has 100 in the tank late in the game in some tough situations, and, of course, the ability, like we're talking, to come off the mound. I mean, you know, most guys would be exhausted at this point in the game. And look at him getting off the mound, getting over to first base, making a very difficult play look easy uh, all those things wrapped up i mean this is why we talk about shohei and the way we do uh, he's just phenomenal and and uh, again 
you know, he's in the lineup today. I mean, this guy, how is he not gas? How are his <laughs> legs not gas? Just a phenomenal uh, effort last night, and to be in the lineup today is just amazing. I, I think about the Rams played football in this field, and that was almost a football play, too, a throw and a left-handed yep. thrower over to Shohei Otani, a wide receiver catching that ball right at the bag. You mentioned his legs had to be exhausted, 117 pitches, three at-bats playing every single game, yet he yeah. was able to make that play look easy. Most pitchers are struggling yeah. to find the base. He looked like a football player, wide receiver making that play. He is the best in baseball with runners in scoring position. We saw that again last night, and uh, after his 117 pitches, he was up third the next inning. So, uh, obviously doing it all, and Joe Madden wanted to find a way to keep him in the lineup. Boy, was that fun to watch, but uh, Shohei Otani, so he goes seven. He's the first Angels pitchers in 12 games to record an out in the sixth inning, Gooby. That's something that needs to change because if you get a starter go through six, boy, does it give you a better chance of success if a starter can't get through six. And then that bridge to get to right down places gets a little shorter. I mean, look how effective he has been. 30 saves this season. He's had a phenomenal season. But when you get to that point where you have starters get that sixth, seventh, and even in the eighth inning, we've seen Joey get in there to the eighth inning in Detroit in a start not too long ago, that you have a better chance. The less amount of times you're forced that bullpen to get 9, 12, 15 outs every night, the better chance you're going to have those guys being successful. Well, you know, what you're talking about, too, is when a starter's going six-plus innings, he's beating down an offense. you got a lot of bruised egos on the other side, and so it lets your bullpen come in well-rested, strong, and go out there and attack these guys that have had a, a tough night to that point. So it all works hand-in-hand. Hand. I think over the course of a long season, when that bullpen, when those guys know what their roles are, and then come in, they're much more focused, and, you know, that that's why the goal is to get your starters to go six-plus innings. Yeah, since the All-Star break, Shohei is average six and a half innings the rest of the available angel starters just four and a quarter so something we want to see change and see if jose suarez who's on the hill tonight can get that going but right now we're gonna go upstairs to patrick o'neill in the broadcast booth and i just love having this conversation about shohei otani patty because you know what uh, the stats the numbers unlike anything we've ever seen in baseball and we talk about velocity we can rate shohei on two different kinds of velocity of course exit velo and his fastball velocity and both were remarkable last night you guys are rolling I'm sorry to just jump in here and break up that momentum, but I'm back in the saddle again, baby, as Aerosmith once so poetically put. Okay, so last night was the second time and first since April 4th that Shoei hit 100 miles per hour as a pitcher, and he also did it twice as a batter. 100 miles per hour is just sexy. Everybody remembers when we hit 100 miles per hour driving, perhaps by accident, perhaps we have a car that is just too fast for us, Tim Salmon looking at you but for Shoei, <laughs> you look at april 4th he threw nine pitches 100 miles per hour and he had two balls that he hit exit velo 100 miles per hour and then last night he hit 100 two times first time since that first outing and he also hit the baseball two times over 100 miles per hour those were ground outs but it was hard hit now i had an opportunity to check in on a couple of angel players and i spoke with joe adele who i said listen Joe, when you're out there and you're seeing Shohei pumping 100 in the seventh inning, are you peeking a little bit up at the board to see if it's really 100? He said, are you kidding me? Marshy and I, we got together and we had to talk about it. It was like, man, are you kidding this? He's hitting 100 miles per hour in the seventh inning. He had to admit it's so much fun to be a part of what we are witnessing. I just want to point one last thing out and then I'll give it back to you guys. So, Shohei right now, 9-1. and one. That's a 900 winning percentage. He's the only pitcher doing that right now in baseball. In fact, he has a chance to join just four other pitchers in baseball history. You got to go back to Lefty Grove, Johnny Allen. So that's 1931 and 1937. And then Randy Johnson and Greg Maddox, they both did it in 1995, finishing the season with a 900 winning percentage or better. Those last two guys, pretty good Hall of Famers, and they won the Cy Young that year. That's it. Wow. I mean, that's, that's a wrap. You, that's, the button. Done? that's the button on it. <laughs> that is some, that's some serious numbers, Patio. That was good, Where Patty. Where do you get all these wow. good numbers? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> All that to the ground. That's a drop the mic uh, yeah, moment. Yeah, drop it. <laughs> Patty, yeah, I Looking don't know about that 100 you. miles an hour by Tim Salmon, though. I think we might have to have a conversation hey, about that. Fast cars and fast boats. I'm good to go. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. I know it. <laughs> oh, Patty, thank you so much. I you appreciate it, that uh, education lesson right there. Well done, my friend. You. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, continue this uh, conversation. Now. So go to Jose Suarez on the hill. 23-year-old lefty. He couldn't get through the fourth inning against the Padres. Gooby, what does he have to get done here tonight? Yeah, first, you need to be able to, when you watch somebody like 
at Shohei Otani, what he did last night as a young pitcher, you think, okay, my manager can give me that, those extra few pitches, a couple extra innings, if I go out there and attack the strike zone. My go-to's from have good success tonight against Texas is he's really got to rely a lot more on working ahead all game long. 1-0 count, batters in 280 when he starts off 1-0. When he starts off the count, 0-1, just 191, and get chases on his changeup down. And he's got a whip percentage of 40.8% whip percentage when he throws that changeup going down and away. So he can get some swing and misses, some soft contact with his changeup, but work ahead and get a chance to be out there at that fifth and sixth inning. Gain trust in Joe Madden by being able to go out there and attack him later in the game. You know, there's no way a guy with this kind of changeup should have a 704 slugging percentage against a fastball inside. I mean, that just shouldn't happen. That just shows you or tells you a little bit of what's going on with his fastball. And to me, it comes down to his fastball command. He's got to be able to command that fastball early in the count for strikes. Don't give him too many looks at that fastball. Don't throw that fastball out of the zone where they have a, t a chance to time it and zone it because that fastball can be a very effective pitch coming off that changeup. And when you get those hits, looking for that change up that fastball should blow them up inside so to me it's going to be all about getting that fastball command located in the zone don't give them too many looks at it make sure your strikes when you're throwing it 12 winless starts here at the big a looking for a first career win here I uh, got to love it in Orange County. So yes. got to get it done. It's going to be, this is a big one for him here. A little home sweet home for him today, though, Motley Crue. Yep. Home sweet you know, home. sweet home for you right now as a broadcast booth. Yes, get out of here. Thank you so much. I yes. appreciate you joining us. Hey, we're going to take our first time out with Tim. He says stick around because we're going to talk about Marsh and Adele, how quick they are, why saw Glacius 30 saves, and tonight's lineups. Girls clubs, because they help you believe that you can make it to the big leagues. Big leagues or what? Law. Art? Construction? Baseball? How'd you guess? For 25 years, <laughs> Major League Baseball has partnered with the Boys and Girls Clubs of America to help kids make it to the big leagues of anything. Hey, Harold, how do you prepare for a big show? Well, I just try to stay positive, take it one show at a time, and treat it just like any other show. How do you feel about the other analysts you work with? It's a great group of guys. We're all on the same page. I'm just happy to be here. What's your prediction for the season? We'll see what happens. It all comes down to execution in the studio. The pro player answers. He's still got it. <laughs> the analyst of MLB Tonight, answering baseball's toughest questions on MLB Network. Welcome back to Angels Live on Valley Sports. Angels Baseball presented by your Southern California Cadillac dealers. Game two of this four-game weekend series between the Rangers and the Halos. And the Halos looking for their second straight. Well, they picked up one last night because of Shohei Otani, but also the sixth inning clutch with two outs. The young guy showing the speed. Yeah, this was a big inning. I mean, Shohei was really dealing and doing a great job keeping the Angels in the game. And it was a tie game. So get anything going two outs. Yeah, Adele showing some legs right there. Marsh hitting the ball down the line for a double. This is going to put runners in scoring position. I was almost hoping that ball might get to the corner and see if Adele could score from there, which I know he would have, but it put the Angels in great situation right here, and of course, when you're hitting, when you're when you're getting guys on base like this with two outs, you need a little bit of luck. Matt Stassi, Max Stassi getting the infield hit right there, bringing another run ahead. So two hits in that inning. Infield hits, got the Angels on the board and gave them the insurance run they needed. Well, really, the one run they needed to take the lead. Pushing the envelope. We talked about stealing bases, but also taking the extra base if you can, showing the speed that puts doubt in those infielders and outfielders' heads, too. So, and, and that pitcher as well. Let's talk more about speed. We bring in Jose Moda from inside the Big A. Jose, uh, exciting to see the Angels' future on the field last night in Marsh and Adele, but even more exciting to know that the Angels have two players, 25 or younger, that are probably the quick if not one of the quickest in all the American League. 
Here's what I really like about this whole situation is what we guys were showing is how speed can go out there and change an inning, perhaps change the entire complexion of a game, but how good is speed if you can't use it or you don't know how to use it? You know, and usually guys that are fast, the last thing that will come out in the big leagues, even though they might have been very successful in the, in the minor leagues, is stealing bases. That's why you see a lot of guys that are very fast but just don't have the ability to steal a base. So I'd love to see how Adele at his feet per second, 29.8, he's being able to change an inning by, we saw it, keeping an inning alive with a base hit or going first and third. The extra base means so much. That's 90 feet closer to an RBI. You look at all the rest of the guys, and Brandon Marsh also in that list, fastest average spring speed, and it's great to see that, you know, it doesn't matter which part of the box they come out of, for Marsh, left side, for Adele, right side, it makes a difference how they get out of the box, and also the instinct and the mentality of thinking, I'm thinking too when the ball is out of my bat, out in the playing field, not when I might have to make a decision, or, you know, depending more on the coach or not, but I do like the instinctive, play they're showing not only running the bases but also out in the outfield by covering a lot of ground yeah i agree with that completely i mean sometimes you get lost in the speed talk and you say hey well they're not stealing bases well they're fast but they're not stealing bases hey stealing is an art to me the key is you're putting pressure on the defense on ground balls on the infield you hit balls in the gap you're making every outfield recognize that if hey i don't, I don't catch this ball cleanly and get it in they're <clears throat> they're going to be standing on two and when you get them on base via walk or whatever it is you have a chance you're in scoring position from first base with guys with wheels like this I think this bodes well for the organization because these are two guys that you're going to see in this lineup for years to come the way they run the bases right now the way they cover the ground in the outfield that's going to be huge I mean defensive metrics are all about speed in the outfield hey they're a little bit shaky at times on getting their glove on the ball but they at least are getting themselves there I think that's just going to come with time as well you know one thing too is to point out watching infield practice today with the Rangers Tim and and Kent Kiner Falefa who is a gold glover was spending more time on a back end today because that play that he did not make against Stassi, he's thinking, if I just get set and make that throw, well, I'm going to get the out maybe, but that's just how much it can get into your mind as a fielder that perhaps uh, the speed can affect your game and put so much pressure on you. And you know what we've seen, too, with those two guys? Speed creates excitement. It creates energy. you got to love what yeah. it does for that dugout. Joe Adele Frenchy. with his passion. you got to love it, Jose. And never slumps, by the way. <laughs> that's right. It's true. Well, <laughs> well played, my friend. Jose, we appreciate to have a great call here tonight. All right, we're going to take a lot of time out here on the program, but don't go far. You know, we talk about length in the starting rotation because the Angels want to get to this guy, Rysel Iglesias. 30th save last night. He's one of the best in the business. If these walls could talk, they'd speak of legacies that live on forever. We're gonna be now. Derek Jeter, Larry Walker, Ted Simmons, and Marvin Miller are celebrated in Cooperstown's hallowed halls among the legends who stood before them. The 2021 Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Live coverage begins Wednesday at noon Eastern on MLB Network and MLB.com. The ballpark is better when we're all here together. COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. Join the team and help us all get back to doing what we love together.
Angels baseball is presented by your Southern California Cadillac dealers. Angels in action at the Big A on this beautiful Saturday night here in Southern California. Young fans and attendants open to see the Halos take two straights from the Texas Rangers. And this will be the lineup that Joe Madden will put out on the field here tonight at the Big A. A lot of changes, Tim, as we take a look at the lineup. The one thing you got to say off the top, Shohei Otani, as you mentioned, in the lineup once again after throwing 117 pitches and all he's done his last 12 games after he starts 390 nine homers 13 rbi well he's facing a good guy for another homer mccoby allard's going to be the lefty on the mound tonight he's given up two home runs in his last four starts that's two home runs per game in his last four starts uh jack mayfield touched him up in texas uh last go around back in early august the goose at first base walsh getting the day off lagara starting in center brandon marsh getting the day off we get a chance to see luis renjifo just called up from triple a he'll get the start at shortstop uh, but we saw the perfect formula for the angels last night go deep into a ball game hand the ball over to Rysel Iglesias in the ninth inning and for the most part Tim you can pretty much go home with a W. You can go home with a W. I mean he's really having a fantastic year and it's you know it's always the silver lining in a you know in a season for like the kind the Angels have had to have a closer doing what he's doing and you just imagine like wow what if it was a really successful year how many more saves could he have but think about this Rosario Iglesias is one of two closers in the game of baseball, the other one being Liam, Liam Hendricks, that has 30-plus saves and a whip under 100, 0.84. That's the lowest whip with 30-plus saves in Angel franchise history. I mean, that goes back to Percy, all the greats. And he's got the lowest one right there. He's a different kind of closer. He's a three-pitch closer. He's not your typical one- to, or two-pitch guy that's a power guy. He relies on not only his fastball, which he can drop down and throw from different angles, and his slider, which he can do that as well. But the changeup, that changeup is a filthy pitch. That off-speed pitch combination between the slider and the changeup, he throws 60% of the time. That's coming from a guy that throws 97, 98. I mean, if you got a guy throwing that hard, boy, you're just kind of discounting the off-speed stuff. But guess what? The off-speed stuff is what's going to kill you at the plate, and he does a fantastic job. And let's add, eight of his saves, four-plus innings. That leads Major League Baseball right now. So he's doing it all for this Angel Club. Got to keep him healthy. Got to have him around for years to come. Yeah. Absolutely. He's getting more swings and misses than he's ever had in his big league career. And, uh, of course, the Angels fans might have been wondering, why didn't he get traded and get some uh, some pieces for him? Well, this is why, because you need a closer at the back end to come in and do what he does. And hopefully, as you mentioned, they can keep him around for years to come. Taking one more time out, we come back. Keys for Jose Suarez, looking for his first W at the Big A. covers the show like MLB Network. Put a star by that one. Turn on baseball's best with over 200 live games all season. Oh, my goodness. Catch live look-ins every night on MLB Tonight. Oh, baby. Plus breakdowns and highlights of your team, my team, every team. And gone. Bring home our national pastime all the time. Only on MLB Network. Everywhere you go, everything you do, you can always take the game with you. And you can bring your friends. fries with a $1 minimum purchase at participating SoCal McDonald's. Download and register on the McDonald's app. All these kids are happy. You know why? You show hey one last night. Yeah, get your fries today and maybe a little ice cream for dessert. Jose Suarez hoping to get Halo fans some free fries for the second straight day, making his 19th appearance. Tim, 10th start of the season. 
what he's trying to do here, though, is translate what he did out of the bullpen to the starting rotation. One nine eight ERA out of the uh, pen in nine games. In nine games as a starter, five five three. Yeah, that earned him the the opportunity to start mm -hmm. what he did in the bullpen. And of course, the first game back out, it was against the New York Yankees, and he dealt, and that earned him some more looks in the uh, you know in the starting position, in starting role. Now here here's the thing: it's been five starts since he had this start against the Texas Rangers. That was his last win. Five and two-thirds, six hits, three runs, a homer, and six Ks. He was dealing, and we've talked about this earlier in the, in the show. He's got a fantastic changeup, one of the best changeups going, but it comes down to that fastball command. He's got to get that fastball in there like that to the hitters, and he can't overuse that fastball. I mean, when he gives him too many looks, that's when he gets hurt, and that's been really the issue. I mean, his last start, last outing, he went three and two-thirds against the San Diego Padres, four hits, two runs, and three walks, but again, it's just economizing that fastball. And this is the lineup that uh, Chris Woodward will put out on the field tonight at the Big Gay. We talked about it earlier, Tim. Very pesky lineup. They like the foul off pitches. They like the work counts. Something Suarez to keep in mind. Well, just like Oshoe Otani, they're going to make the adjustment. You know, they, these young kids have been given a chance to play, and it's at the end of the season. They're starting to put together some good at bats, so he's going to have to work hard to get those outs tonight. All right. Uh, well, Suarez will be opposed by Colby Aller, the lefty, Anaheim native, 50. 50 career appearance tonight, 35th career start. He's had three starts against the Angels, but they've all been in Texas. This is the first time in front of the hometown fans. Yeah, he took the last uh, start at August 3rd. He got the loss, six innings, six hits, two runs, a home run by Jack Mayfield. Uh, he really pitched pretty darn good. I, You know, this is a guy that I mentioned earlier, two home runs in each of his last four starts. But he's kind of had an interesting season. His first five starts of the year, he had a 3.53 ERA. His middle five, it jumped to 9.13. And his last five, 4.45. But he's been going six and six plus innings in those last five starts. So I think the Angels have a lot of work to put, uh, yeah. you know, going against him tonight. Uh, he puts a lot of balls in the zone. Forty-five percent of his pitches are in the zone, but it's not swing and miss stuff. So they have a good chance of putting these balls in play. Fourteenth overall pick back in 2015 by the Braves out of San Clemente High School. It's about time for Angels baseball. Patrick O'Neill, Mark Gubiza, Jose Moda will have the call. Angels, Rangers, coming at you next in the Big A. Meet Justin Upton. He's watching MLB Network. Again, the lineup got deeper. Because that's what baseball fans do. They're deep. They're deep.
The heart of LA, Valley Sports West, the heart of the fan. by the all-new 2022 Nissan Pathfinder from the Big A. Your Los Angeles Angels take it on the Texas Rangers. Shohei Otani, after picking up his ninth win of the season, is back in the lineup tonight. Of course he is, because that's when he does tremendous, tremendous damage. It's great to be back with you once again. With Mark Gubiza, I'm Patrick O'Neill. We'll catch up with Jose Mota momentarily. Still a bit pumped up about yep. the game last night, Gooby. That was a lot of fun. Patrick, by the way, how great is it to see Shoei Otani still smiling? Most of us pitchers, starting pitchers out there, throwing 117 pitches, we're just happy to walk. <laughs> and he's in the lineup again, hitting second today with that big smile on his face. He was fantastic on the mound. He did everything humanly possible to give the Angels a chance to win last night. I think those pitchers that you speak of just mere mortals. Yeah. I think. <laughs> so what was interesting to me, Gooby, is seeing Joe Madden keep him in there in that seventh inning. Already a career high in pitches, and he battled through, and that final out of the seventh was perfect. Yeah, Patrick, we were thinking, okay, maybe they're going to go down in the bullpen at that point, but what he did last night, eight strikeouts, seven innings, just two earned runs, two walks, 117 pitches, but 85 of them were strikes, and when those big moments came about during the course of the game, that's when he amped it up. A couple hundred mile an hour pitches, his split finger fastball when he needed was very, very good. His slider, the same thing, but you can see in those moments where he was just driving towards the plate. Take a look at our StatCast 3D, powered by Google Cloud, the eight strikeouts, what he threw, three strikeouts with his splitter, a lot of them out of the strike zone, but look at those four seam fastball, 97, 98, and 100 miles an hour, upper part of the strike zone, and his slider was effective too, but eight punch outs in there, seven Innings. Phenomenal what he's been doing this entire season. Now, 112 innings pitch on the season, 9 and 1 record, 2.970 ERA. Phenomenal. Yeah, and of course, he's back in the batting order tonight because he <laughs> wants to do everything he can to help this team win. And helping him get that win last night was Rysel Iglesias for that. We're going to go down to Moda Island. My hey, man, Patrick, Jose Moda. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know what? Uh, even Rysel Iglesias last night was saying, I love to get saves for Shohei Otani. And 30 is such a great number. I mean, you talk yeah. to closers around baseball, around spring training, they always say, magic number 30. Anything above is a bonus. Anything above 30 means your team's probably going somewhere. But for the Angels, they know one thing. With Rice and Iglesias, always going somewhere when it comes down to having that anchor in that ninth inning. It's so hard to get 30 saves, though. Consider that first Angel with 30 since Houston Street back in 2015. 2015 with Rice Sales, rookie year with Cincinnati. That's when Houston Street got 40 then. One of the two closers in the big leagues. Last three full seasons, 30 plus saves. On top of that, he will get you more than three outs, which is also a great luxury. And then on top of that, let's see what else. How about 92 strikeouts, 61 innings, only nine walks. That is getting after somebody. And many scouts are telling me his stuff today is better than at any point in his career. Hopefully we'll see him here at the end of this one, which would mean a good thing for the Angels. First pitch, Suarez, Allard on the mound. Angels, Rangers, right after this. Hey, Harold, how do you prepare for a big show? Well, I just try to stay positive, take it one show at a time, and treat it just like any other show. How do you feel about the other analysts you work with? It's a great group of guys. We're all on the same page. I'm just happy to be here. What's your prediction for the season? We'll see what happens. It all comes down to execution in the studio. The pro player answers. He's still got it. The analyst of MLB Tonight, answering baseball's toughest questions on MLB Network. Everywhere you go, everything you do, you can always Take the game with you. And you can bring your friends.
Okay, here we go, everybody, getting you set for the Angels and the Rangers. And you are seeing Jose Suarez, who's towing the bump for his 10th start of the season. And he's looking for his first career win here at the Big A. And Gooby, one thing we, we've seen from Suarez is he's able to take his turn in the rotation. No problem about that. And yeah, he likes to battle, but can he get to a, a quality start? Can he get into that sixth inning and, and help out that bullpen? Yeah, he really has to go out there and attack the strike zone, be aggressive and get ahead of the count. If he does that, he will be successful against this lineup for Texas tonight. Leading off for the Rangers is Leody Tavares. A lot of speed. Kiner Falefa at short in right. Adolis Garcia, who's one home run shy of the Rangers rookie record. DJ Peters, Nathaniel Lowe, Nick Solak. Charlie Culberson just coming off that COVID IL gets the start at third. Yoel Pozo, he's got some thump in his bat. Good numbers in AAA. He'll be the DH. And Jose Trevino is catching for Chris Woodward's Rangers. And here's a look at Suarez. Again, five and seven in those starts. Scooby, the, the ERA is not great in relief he's got good numbers yeah but his stuff is conducive to being a starter because he's got some quality pitches my go-to's for jose suarez to have a good game here tonight against texas is work ahead all game long when he's ahead of the count 01 this 191 but he's behind the count to start with 102 80 and get chases on that change up down a 40.8 percent whip percentage on his change up out of that strike zone so it was a great win last night for shohei otani and the Angels have had success against the Rangers, 9-4 and four on the season. Leading off is Leody Tavares. We are underway from the Big A. Swing and a miss. My weather forecast. Gooby, you ready for it? Toasty? It's going to say perfect. It's perfect. You're feeling a little toasty, huh? No, it's, it's a great day. That's a good thing. You're loose and ready to go. I hope everybody's enjoying their Labor Day weekend. An official end of summer. Suarez deals. That one's popped up. Had a late addition to the lineup. Jared Walsh initially was going to be Gosselin at first base. Gosselin is now in left field. Justin Upton is supposed to be in the lineup. A late scratch. So the goose in left. The in center. Joe Adele is in right field. Got a lefty on the hill for the Rangers. Jack Mayfield is in at third base. Renhifo is getting the start at short. David Fletcher and Jared Walsh have just made the first out there of the first. Jose Suarez and Kurt Suzuki is catching. Renhifo getting his fourth career start at shortstop. First since 2019. Three at second base, nine at third, and nine in right field for Renhifo. By the way, we saw Jared Walsh taking some early fielding work at first base today mm -hmm. thinking okay he yep. has a day off but it was still impressive to see him work on it right away pop up his way made it look easy as usual for Walsh Isaiah Connor Falefa at the plate 0 and 1 strike two good start One thing that we saw from Shohei was how he battled and you kind of hope that that's just going to carry over for some of these young pitchers on the Angels staff 0 and 2 You can't help but be inspired as a young pitcher watching what Shohei Otani did on the mound yesterday. In that sixth, and then in the seventh inning where he amped it up, had better pitches as the game progressed. You see that, and you want to be just like Shohei Otani if you're a young pitcher like Jose Suarez. Got him. Two down in the first. Good changeup from Suarez. Just like we say from Shohei with his splitter, this changeup has that same type of action to it going down, swing and miss. So here's Adolis Garcia. Angels did a good job against him last night. A little bit of a slow start. He was an all-star reserve in the American League. He's got some competition for that AL Rookie of the Year, 28-year-old Cuban. Randy Rosarena, Luis Garcia. Garcia certainly still in the mix. He's foul back. Well, he likes that first pitch. He is up there hacking at the first pitch. It's a nice start from Suarez. And a good pace early here. Good change up. Garcia just hitting 185, two strikes on him. So a good chance to get him a chase out of the zone now. 
And he does just that. Nine pitch first inning. One, two, three. Jose Suarez sets down the Rangers in order. Thanks. Oh, I can. No, I got it. Sweet unholy cobalt. Is Brad's car better than mine? Better sign-up bonus? Better travel perks? Is that how Brad took that trip to Barcelona? Wait, Barcelona. Barcelona? Steve, I got it on NerdWell. Ah. Oh. You said all that out loud. Want a better credit card? We've got you. From the best rates to the best rewards, for all your credit card questions, turn to the nerds. When we started our company, we simply wanted better sheets. But along the way, we've realized that softer, safer, organic cotton does so much more for the planet and for humanity. It helps your home become a force for good because home is more than just an address. Home is our soul. Bowling Branch, organic sheets, bath, and home. Right now, try for 30 nights risk-free and get free shipping at bowlandbranch.com. off for Joe Madden as the uh, Angels looking to get back to 500 for the 26th time. Shohei Otani, Phil Gosselin now in left field. Jack Mayfield, Jared Walsh at first base. Initially not in the lineup against the left. Joe Waddell in right. Kurt Suzuki and Ligaris and Luis Renjifo. Switch hitter is hitting ninth. Okay, so we have Anaheim zone. Colby Allard. From San Clemente, looking. Uh, this is his first career start, Gooby, here at the Big. It's a big one for him. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of family and friends here. 90-95 with his fastball. There's a lot of fastballs between his four seam, two seam, and cutter. Change up, curveball. David Fletcher takes a strike now. Just two hits behind Vladdy and Trey Turner for the MLB hit sleep. So, looking for maybe another multi-hit yeah. game from it. Why not? Sounds good. Drives that one to left field. Got a guy there, DJ Peters, who was in right field for the Rangers last night. It makes that out for Allard, number one. My go to is to have success against Allard today for the Angels. Aggressive on the first pitch, a 373 batting average, 1,000 OPS on the first pitch. And power, his fastball. He's given up 17 home runs versus his fastballs this year. So this would be my suggestion for anybody that like goes to the phone at a moment like this for check Twitter or Whatever they do, like a, a TikTok, put it down and watch Shohei Otani because at bat, after he pitches, he does damage. Swings at that one, strike one. And he was right on cue, swinging at the first pitch, and he got a fastball first pitch down the heart of the plate. That was a good swing. You love to see Shohei start getting back to left center, drive it, and then turn on pitches inside. Shift is on against Shohei, 0-1. Oh, and two now. Just probably just trying to get a feel, look at some pitches. And as you mentioned, Colby Allard will be around that strike zone, but he does give up the long ball. At the end of the bat, that one's out to left field. It's like Peters has it. It's like Solak just uh, decided I'll, I'll peel off of that one, two down. Phil Gosselin coming up now. Playing left field. So far off to a quick start here. Again, that would be something for the Angels to get back to 500. 26 time. That would tie a team record. Considering they're doing that all without Mike Trout. It would be some feat. It's not going to get any easier. Record-wise with some of the teams that the Angels are going to have to face. So far this season, everybody they, they face, strength of schedule over 500. Rest of the way, over 500. Ground ball, shortstop. Isaiah Kiner for Leffa across the diamond. It's a 1-2-3 first inning for the Angels. No score. We head to the second.
When we started our company, we simply wanted better sheets. But along the way, we've realized that softer, safer, organic cotton does so much more for the planet and for humanity. It helps your home become a force for good because home is more than just an address. Home is our soul. Bowling Branch, organic sheets, bath, and home. Right now, try for 30 nights risk-free and get free shipping at bowlandbranch.com. They say nothing worth having comes easy, to which we say they must not have had our sirloin steak with garlic herb butter because it takes less than 30 minutes to make. No, really. With Home Chef, you get more ways to have super delicious, super fresh meals that are also super easy. So even when you don't really have time to cook, you still have time to Home Chef. Get $90 off your first month at homechef.com. Also available at select stores. Home Chef, delicious meets simple. pitches eight strikes and he's coming off of a start where he only threw 56 percent strikes that was the lowest he's thrown this season as a starter uh, lefties keep an eye on that because they have hurt him so far this season 319 average 565 it's not how many lefties is the one he has in low and then uh, 20 and a third innings for Suzuki 41 and two-thirds Gooby was Stassi and I think Suzuki is a good match because one thing they wanted to do today is to go out there and keep that quick pace he showed in that first inning. Yeah, threw a lot of good fastballs in the inside part of the plate and a good change of fading down. His command of his change up really, really good in the first. DJ Peters takes strike one. Chris Woodward certainly has, has peppered his, his lineup with a lot of righties against the lefty Suarez. Only Nathaniel Lowe, only left hander in the lineup that I can see. Oh, you do have Leody Tavera, switch hitter, on top of the order. Strike two. He's pounding the strike zone. Good. And he has a good feel and a lot of confidence with his fastball. I mean, he can get up there 96 miles an hour. Generally going to be 91, 96. Throwing 47 percent fastballs. Change up at 29. Curveball 24. So certainly off to a good start. So what, what, what tells you by your eye that he's kind of locked in early? I like his pace. Yeah. I always believe if you work quickly, that means you have a lot of confidence working. All of us can agree we like the pace. A little tapper. Soros has that one. One down. So as a starter this season, fastballs in the zone in relief. And I, I mentioned this after off the top. You know, what, what is the you know, what is the tell here when you look at this? Well, I, mean, I think out of the bullpen, a lot of times you don't have a lot of time to think about how to set up hitters. You're just aggressive. Mm -hmm. And yep. I think that's the kind of mindset he has to have as a starter. Just have that aggressive mindset and attack the strike zone with his fastball that sets up the secondary pitches very well. Nathaniel Lowe takes high. I remember when you and Maddie B were talking about this. If Nate, Nate Lowe for the longest time and then his mom called on his birthday and said his name is Nathaniel. And, and from there the legend of Nathaniel Lowe was born. Swing up the middle. Renhifo is there. Two away. A couple ground ball outs this, this inning for Suarez. A couple strikeouts. Luis Renjifo working all afternoon long with Brian Butterfield on ground balls up the middle. The backhand, forehand coming in on the baseball. Practice makes perfect. Good play there by Renjifo. Just to finish up my take on Nathaniel versus Nate. Uh, Nathaniel had three errors in the ninth inning in their loss to Colorado. He tried to get him charged to Nate. <laughs> But apparently they said no. Sorry. <laughs> Name's Nathaniel. Here comes Nick Solak. He's riding an 11-game hit streak right now. Didn't get the call there. Behind home plate as he puts his glasses on, Lance Barksdale. 
you know these guys just by how they call the balls and strikes, yes. don't you, Gudu? Yes, and then some umpires, there will be more hitter-friendly, some more pitcher-friendly. What do we have here tonight? Uh, this more pitcher-friendly. <laughs> like it. Yes. <laughs> like it. Not that I would ever sure. remember that. Sway thing. that yes. way one way or another. Yeah, gotcha. Well, there we go. One and one, two out to the tough Nick Solak. Got a little chopper. And Jack Mayfield gets it. And that's six up, six down for Jose Suarez. Mike Trout. People know he's one of the greatest players this game's ever seen. Meet Mike Trout. Can run. He's field, watching hit, MLB Network. Throw. He's one of the nicest people you're ever going to meet. Because that's yes, what baseball fans do. And he's also got tremendous show hair with his hat off. Hi, I'm Bo Bichette, and you can catch me making great plays on MLB Tonight. Another great defensive play. And I'm Harold Reynolds, and you can catch me breaking down those great plays on MLB Tonight. MLB Tonight, only on MLB Network. No one covers the show like MLB Network. Put a star by that one. Turn on baseball's best with over 200 live games all season. Oh, my. Goodness. Catch live look-ins every night on MLB Tonight. Oh, baby! Plus breakdowns and highlights of your team, my team, every team. And gone! Bring home our national pastime all the time. Only on MLB Network. No score, bottom of the second. So far, really good pitching in this ball game. Yeah, a lot of strikes being thrown by both lefties. And Jack Mayfield coming in on that baseball, talking to Brian Butterfield. They were working on this play during early work, saying when a guy runs well, you come in on the baseball at third base. If it's not as quick as a runner, you wait back on the baseball. But no one's so like the way he runs. Came in on that, looks good. Nice work with Butterfield and Jack Mayfield. Yeah, you were you were pointing that out coming in coming back or going back and, and Jack was like thanks for noticing. He's just a great guy. Yep. Having the time of his life up here 0 for 3 last night sitting 213. Of all the angels that have faced Colby Allard. Got the Jacks the only one that's uh, taking him deep. That's Brian Butterfield at third base coach. Staring that one down the left field line. Just foul. For a while there, yeah. Just keeping my eye on that one. He was going a little Carlton Fisk on that one a little bit, trying to bring that will that one fair. <laughs> <to> smile from <laughs> Brian Butterfield. They were trying to do the same thing. I mean, he does a great job, Brian Butterfield, with the infielders. So he was saying he was hitting the ball on the down the third base line by the chalk line and make sure that would have a different type of balance. He said Matt Williams and a lot of real good third basemen worked on that side of the field. They used to hit on just the opposite side, the similar side, running, coming in on the baseball or waiting back on ground balls. That one was a touch closer than I initially anticipated off the bat. Pretty much felt it was foul from the get go. But he had the distance. Jack Mayfield has had some serious pop in the minor leagues. He's got the nine home runs up here in the show all since the All Star break. Slugging over 420 this year. Two and two. Gets him right there. One down. I'm listening for some of Colby Allard's friends and family on that that strikeout to Jack. They're here somewhere, San Clemente. Yeah, he runs a fastball just above the bell. He had a lot behind it. You can see even when he followed through on the pitch. Not a big strikeout guy, but he throws a lot of strikes and attacks the strike zone. 14th overall, Atlanta Braves. Okay, so here's Jared Walsh. 
initially not in the lineup because of the lefty. And that's something that Jared Walsh is going to have to figure out. 267 on, on the season. Strike two. And, he, and he's so good on non-fastballs, and you'll see that a lot from lefties, but they've been able to ride high fastballs against Walsh to get him out. Does have eight home runs against lefties, slugging 352, but it's a 166 batting average. That's what jumps out at you, for sure. And he strikes out. So both the outs here in the bottom of the second via the strikeout. Swinging. That's five up, five down for Colby Allard. It's way upstairs. And yeah. that's been that fastball, that fastball elevated from lefties against Walsh has been successful. It's tough to bring your hands up and make contact on that. Not many could do that. Fletch can do it mm -hmm. very, very well. Former Angel Mark Trumbo could jump on that high fastball really, really well. Joe Adele. We're two down here in the second. And Joe Adele was great last night. It was the key to that Angels victory. Had two hits, that sprint speed up the line, eventually scoring that go-ahead run on that Stassi ribby. Swings through that one. Again, you just look at moments like, like this down the stretch with 27 games left for, for Joe Adele to continue to show what he can do going into next season. Sky's the limit for this young man. A lot of fastballs early on for Colby Allard. He's thrown 18 pitches, 14 fastballs. Coming in this game, about 73% between his two-seam, four-seam, and we've seen some cut fastballs. That K percentage, pretty strong. 15 to 18 strikes. And Adele chops that one. Daniel Lowe flips over to Allard. And there we go. Three up, three down. Six up, six down for the Angels. Through two, nice goal. Meet Justin Upton. He's watching MLB Network. Again, the lineup got deeper. Because that's what baseball fans do. They're deep. They're deep. No one covers the show like MLB Network. Put a star by that one. Turn on baseball's best with over 200 live games all season. Oh, my goodness. Catch live look-ins every night on MLB Tonight. Oh, baby. Plus breakdowns and highlights of your team, my team, every team. And gone. Bring home our national pastime all the time. Only on MLB Network. It's the time of year when baseball brings you the best in show. And one mad dog. Show up and win a championship. Please. Christopher Russo takes a bite out of the pennant chase on MLB Network. Well, Eddie Money's two tickets to paradise is playing over the loudspeakers here at the Big A. It's a perfect opportunity to remind you Angels fans, you can make it a September to remember and join us here at the Big A with tickets starting at only $3. Visit angels.com slash tickets today. No score. Top of the third. Angels Rangers on a Saturday evening. Saturday night fireworks, by the way. Is it Saturday? Saturday night's okay for fighting, but not between you and I because we're friends. Long time. Man, what a pleasure it is to be here. This is some outstanding view. A lot of history between the Rangers and the Angels. I mean, they, they both broke into the, the big leagues in 1961. Of course, the Angels and the, the Washington Senators. And then the Senators moved to Texas, to Arlington where you did some serious damage. You put a hurting on those boys back in the, in the 80s and 90s, Gooby. 
These but, two teams have had their battles. Yes. Both during the game and even on the field on occasion. Charlie Culberson just off the COVID IL is in there. Hitting seventh for the Rangers, who are on pace, by the way, to, to lose over 100 games, which they have not done since 1973. And the Angels have done well, 9-4, and four, the only team in the ALS that they actually have a winning record against. One and two to Culberson, and he goes down. Nice. Boy, he's got his changeup really, really working. And here's those numbers that I was telling you about. By the way, the change. You know why that's so effective, Patrick? Because you threw me. a fastball in that same plane on the outside corner. So it was a hitter. You're tracking fastball down and away. And then you throw the change up, a separation about 10 miles per hour, but the same plane. And then the bottom drops out. No, no contact on that swing and miss. Pullman's hitting only 157 coming in against that change up. This is Yohel Pozo. It was DHing for the Rangers. Some serious pop in Triple A. Looking at his numbers. Pozo had to kind of just confirm with a couple of people, make sure I'm getting that right. So it's been a tough go against Oakland, against Houston, against Seattle. So look at Pozo's numbers, 239. Six ribbies. So far, you could tell he's trying to make sure he threw some off-speed pitches. You see the numbers against Texas, nine and four, struggled really against Oakland this year, especially up in Oakland, four and twelve mark. Foul back. So Pozo made his MLB debut August 13th. Two for four, 10th batter in Texas history with a home run in his debut. And at uh, Round Rock, he's hitting 337, slashing 337, 350, 608, 958, 19 homers, 63 ribbons. Going to elevate here, fastball. Fly ball to right, back on it is Ladaris. And he makes the play two down. You can always tell when the pitcher misses his spot. The catcher, because Kurt Suzuki's sitting high target. And he's reaching down. A lot of times you'll, you'll drop the head or drop the glove knowing you miss the spot. He hit that ball very, very well, but kept it in the ballpark. Just missing the spot with his fastball. But he kept it in there, got it out. He's been throwing very good so far. A lot of strikes. 25 pitches, 20 strikes for Jose Suarez. Great to see that. I'm sure Matt Wise and Joe Madden are loving what they're seeing early in this ballgame. Here's Jose Trevino catching for the Rangers. Didn't play in last night's ballgame. Didn't think Jonah Heim would be in there. You can see him in, our, in the view right there. Who uh, got, got that foul ball off his shoulder. And did not expect him to be playing here tonight. 0-1. Day game tomorrow. Going to be in there probably back in there tomorrow. Yep. We had that long, long at bat against Shohei Otani. What, 15 pitches? That yeah. alone will make you tired as a catcher. <laughs> That's what brought that, that pitch count for Shohei to a career high, 117. And he was great. Shohei getting ready for his next at bat against Allard. I see him up in the third. The Angels can get a couple of runners on for him. Two and two, two down. Trevino is one of those players that the Rangers are getting a good look at here. See what the future holds for him behind the dish. Jonah Heim, a couple of good ones. Warner Suarez comes back with his changeup now. Two two combio. And he does. Great call. Great pitch. Strike three. An excellent start for Jose Suarez. Going to the bottom of the third.
No score. Both lefties, Suarez and Allard, just strike throwing machines right now so far for Allard. 19 pitches, 16 strikes. A kid from San Clemente High School. 2.5 run support, average per nine innings. That's the lowest among pitchers that have made 15 plus starts. Last start, 99 pitches. Gooby, 28 cutters, 43 four seamer, is then opposite. Average against them on fastballs away is 080 Gooby. I, I need you to expand on fastballs away. And if we have that number, I'm sure he has it too, right? Well, if you're going to pitch a fastball away, it, you know, and then you throw that cutter, bring it to the back door, or keep that cutter and keep you honest as a right handed batter on the inside part, that opens up that whole outer half throughout the entire game for you if you can spot your fastball. Well, think about this 232 overall, Patrick, against his fastball, but 080 when it's located away. So far, so good for both of these guys tonight. Hosey, thank you very much. Kurt Suzuki now stepping into the box. A 2 0 count against Colby Allard. We're still looking for our first hit of this ball game. So it's a pop up. Oh, oh, nice play. Nick Solak able to reach back and make that play. One down. Here's today's Hyundai key for the game today. Going to Luke Bryan waves. Think about the offense coming in waves today. So far, Colby Allard has not allowed that to happen. And the Angels, we've seen that over the last few games. When they get on a roll, they get that wave going as far as driving the baseball, running the bases effectively. That's when they can create some runs. Juan Magaris. You know, last night's game was... But the first time in, in 12 games in a real odd stretch, right, where it was either zero or one runs or, or six or more. They won with, with three runs in the ballgame. Odd stat. They put an end to that. Swing and a miss. It's been one of those years, though, you know, where the Angels creep up over 500, a couple games under, as far back as four under. Chance tonight. I know the, the playoffs are not in the picture, but I think Joe Madden is mentioned this last night, the perfect manager. Been watching Ted Lasso. You getting in on that at all, Gooby? Um, um, I will be shortly. I, I just, I don't know if many Angels fans feel me on this one, that, that Joe Madden has a lot of Ted Lasso <laughs> in him, or vice versa. Where it's so easy to talk to and can go into any room. And make friends with everybody, crack you up, make you feel you feel good about yourself, confident in your ability. That's a that's what you need to manage. Oh, that one is hit good. That one is back, and that one is gone. Juan Lagares, home run, and that's the first hit of the ball game. And the Angels take a one nothing lead. One gone with a home run. Boy, he got that fastball, four-seam fastball, 18th home run versus fastball for Colby Allard this year. Lagaris, fourth home run, 31 RBIs. When he gets the opportunity, he has been very successful driving the baseball and being consistent, swinging the bat. Inside part of the plate, brings his hands in at the belt and rockets it out to left field, giving the Halos a 1-0 lead. Colby Allard will give it up. Did we get a play out there Manny in the missed bullpen? It. I mean, come on, Manny. Uh, I'm I'll, sorry. I'll remind him of that one tomorrow. We always have a quick conversation every day in the dugout. There's a strike to Luis Renifo. As we look at Juan Lagares, fourth home run of the season. Back with the Mets. And six home run. There's Manny. He said he tried to catch it with the glove. I mean, with the hat. Jose Quijada is trying to tell him exactly how to, <laughs> how to do that. Best I've seen it. Noe Ramirez was great at that. Oh, he was running he that one down with the hat. <laughs> Trying to remember the, the replay, who hit it, and he, he didn't make the play. It was within, within a couple of weeks, right? All right, well, well, we'll take the home run and we'll forgive Manny on missing that one as Luis Renifo strikes out. Jose Mota passing along. It was Phil Gosselin's home run that Manny tried to make a play on. It's good to see Juan Lagares crush that baseball. 
Those hands were quick. Fletch is up for the second time. So for one, we got word that Justin Upton scratch in this ball game because of some back pain. Initially was supposed to be in there. Garis doing the damage. All right, it's time now for a key player profile. Fletch, most multi-hit games in AL since last season, up at the top. And Tim Anderson, Whit Merrifield right there. And last night, David Fletcher. Yeah. Multi-hit game. The top three, they're all middle infielders. Contact guys. Yep. Two and one, two down, one nothing, Angels, bottom of the third. I was looking at games played. David Fletcher, no surprise. This would be his 131st game. And on deck is Shohei Otani. This is his 130th game play. It's just so amazing, this two-way player. Line to center field. Leone Tavares is there to make the final out of the third inning. But Juan Ligaris, make no mistake, as Gooby said on this one, it was one gone. The Angels lead it one to nothing. How the Angels got here with all the moves they made. They have a Meet Justin Upton. He's watching MLB Network. Again, the lineup got deeper. Because that's what baseball fans do. They're deep. They're deep. Claire, how do you know how much bling to wear before each game? What bling you wear during the game is a very important decision. You want to wear enough so you look good, but not too much where it slows you down on the base pass. Some diamonds are always nice. But on a sunny day, the reflection can get in your eye and make you miss the play. Thanks, Cliff. Very informative. <laughs> the analyst of MLB Tonight, answering baseball's toughest questions, only on MLB Network. Head to the top of the fourth here at the Big A. Gorgeous Saturday night. It's Labor Day weekend, 1-0 Angels over the Texas Rangers. And so far, so good for Jose Suarez through three innings. Leadoff hitter, Leody Tavares is at the plate. Rangers certainly are hopeful that they can get this guy where he needs to be for next season. But so far this year, he's hitting just 111. Did some special things for him last year, especially in the outfield. But early on, a lot of quick first pitch strikes for Jose Suarez and using all three pitches from his changeup, his curveball, and fastball. Needed three or less pitches to retire five of the nine batters so far, has Suarez. Yeah, he's faced 10 batters, seven first pitch strikes. Pretty solid percentage early on for Suarez. He's always been a bit deliberate, but if he can, I mean, if you were to suggest to him pacing, would that be a, something for him to improve on? Yeah, and even Matt Weiss has, has said that and talked to him about that, and it's a little bit quicker now because your defense needs to be on their toes to make plays for you. That's a line drive to the gap. Here's the speed of Tavares. That one is getting to the wall. 
That's an easy double. Will he try for three? You know, he's going to hold up right there at second base as Gosselin gets it in. So leadoff double for Tavares. I bring up that 111 batting average. That's what happens. That's the first hit of the ball game for the Texas Rangers against Jose Suarez. He went down and got that pitch lower part of the strike zone. Just a good swing for Tavares to be able to drive at left center. Tracking the ball lower part of the strike zone effectively because a number of the pitches in that at bat were lower third. So Isaiah Kiner Falefa, no down and some speed on the bases. I mean, I know you can you could pull up that feet per second, but he was absolutely flying around first base. Yeah, he was thinking triple. Absolutely. And when you look at, at Gosselin, I think he was thinking the same thing. Let me hustle and get that one in. So let's see if Suarez can get it out, get out of the setting. Interesting, a quick look back for Suarez and Renjifo. Renjifo is pretty good as far as pointing a pickoff. A lot of times we've seen that from Renjifo from second base, so it's a little different angle coming in as a shortstop on a timing play, maybe a pickoff at some point. And he's got his oven mitt now, so. One and one. Tough matchup, too, for Suarez because Connor Falefa is really good as far as hitting the ball to the right side of the infield and hitting it hard on the line. You see what he's trying to do. He's trying to make sure at the very least he gets the job done and gets Tavares over to third base. Historically, for Suarez, righties have given him a lot of trouble, but this year he has improved. Have, what have you noticed as far as the improvements for him? Because if you think about Suarez for next year, right now the way it looks, I mean, he could pitch himself into the conversation to be in the rotation. Yeah, 215 against right-handed batters. That's pretty solid. Well, he's been able to show enough fastballs in to be able to make him aware of that. And then his changeup and even the backdoor curveball outside part of the play has been effective. That one's hit to left field. Gosselin has a play. One down. That's a great pitch because you get an out and you don't allow Tavares to try to advance on an out, which is huge. Time now for our Indeed player resume. Adolis Garcia, 29 home runs, one shy of Pete Incavilia for the Rangers rookie record. I have an inky story. I just, I don't know when the time is to bring up these stories. <laughs> you know, I'm, come on, just get in here. I'm going to start talking about Pete Incavelia. <laughs> Almost ruined it for you yesterday when I brought him up. What did he, he went to Oklahoma State, I think, right? He College? did. He had yes. 48 home runs his junior year at Oklahoma State. But he's went to Monterey High School. I went to high school in the Monterey Peninsula. And he was a legend up there, graduated 82. The, the Incavelias had a liquor store in Monterey. Now, you've seen old school, right, the keggers. Apparently, I don't know this for a fact, but they have keggers in high school also. I was very studious. Shout out to RLS. Go Pirates. But so I, so I heard through the rumor mill or whatever, it's a long time ago, that if the high school kids needed a kegger, they went to Incavillias in Monterey. So that's the, that's the rumor, huh? That's the rumor. I don't know. I was studying. Book smart. <laughs> So I followed, <laughs> I was such a big fan, I followed uh, Inky's career at Oklahoma State and then uh, with, with the, the Rangers. And that one's chopped. That's a tough play. That's foul ball. Ooh, that's a, that's a tough call. Ooh, that was real, real close, especially as quick as Garcia is going down the line. I was watching Fletch. He was trying to keep Tavares close. Luis Suarez was looking at him, and he pointed home. And then this ground ball you see going down the line. And Mayfield knowing there's no play going to be at first base gets that one foul. And that's the, usually that's the home plate umpire's call before it crosses the bag. Is that right? Riggs was there, Jeremy Riggs at third base. Smart play by Mayfield, though, to tap yes. that one before, you know, it hits the bag or anything yep. bad happens. Yeah, otherwise, that's going to be an infield hit. Garcia is getting back to the batter's box now. But a smart play by the captain, Jack Mayfield. That one definitely had a funny bounce. Not sure if it hit the plate 
or not, but it's 0-1 now. Runner in second base, a lot of speed. And Tavares. Oh, there's that pickoff. Oh, that one goes into center field. And Tavares is going to get to third base with one down. Oh, when he threw back there, Renifo was covering right Gooby. And just the throw, just uh, right the missed back. What happened was, is Fletch oh, is giving Fletch, that daylight right. play. The throw is going towards the runner, so there's no way that Fletch can reach across unless you knock down Tavares to get to the baseball. That's why you got to throw it. Try to throw it on the second base side of the bag if you can. They're going to force the infield in. Renhifo playing in along with Mayfield and Fletch. Walsh, same thing. Not easy against Garcia at the plate. That one is hit high and. Looks like it's drifting foul and into the seats barely. So, Gooby, that was something that you mentioned that there, with Tavares, that there was possibly going to be a pickoff play at second base. I said Renifo, it was Fletch. It got into center field quick. It was crowded over there. I think he just missed the throw. Yeah. That's all that is. And, and part of it is he has that great speed. But then when that, when the, Connor Fleff is unable to, to advance him. That means that a lot of times you take it upon yourself as a runner to get the third base with one out, so you're going to be more apt to try to steal. And that errant throw from Suarez puts him at third, forcing the infield in, but a chance to get a strike out here with two strikes. One down, 0-2. Gets him! Looked like he, yeah, he got him. I thought he fouled him for a second. That is a big, big out. Yep, Suzuki doing a good job there. Hanging on. Boy, early on, we, we mentioned this width percentage of Suarez versus his changeup, 40.8. He's getting a ton of swing and misses on his changeup. And that is the tough, tough out there in Garcia, bringing up DJ Peters. Now, two down. Tavares at third base. You know, you always check on the wild pitches in situations like this. Swings through that four-seam fastball, 92. Certainly like to see the way Suarez Gooby bounces back after, after an error. That was nice. Still got to remain focused here. You got that big out, a strikeout against a dangerous hitting Garcia. Sometimes you have a letdown. You want to keep focus. All right, 0-2 now to Peters. This is where you have to have a lot of trust in your catcher. A veteran behind the plate, Kurt Suzuki. Kurt's pretty good as far as giving a target that's not going to be in the strike zone. But also you have to have trust as a pitcher that if you throw something in the dirt, you can keep it in front of you. This is the time to do it, 0-2. No mistakes here. Got him! Great work by Jose Suarez. Gets out of trouble. The leadoff double stranded at third. And we're heading to the bottom half of the fourth inning. The Angels lead 1 0. Get the unpredictable penance chase moments that will have you saying, Heads up! Uh oh! Oh my gosh. Man down! Intentional box, unpredictable penance chase coverage. Only on MLB Network. Mike Trout. People know he's one of the greatest players this game's ever seen. Meet Mike Trout. Can run. He's field, watching hit, MLB Network. Throw. He's one of the nicest people you're ever going to meet. Because that's yes, what baseball fans do. And he's also got tremendous show hair with his hat off.
again. It's our Land Rover above and beyond. Boy, what he threw last night as far as average below on his four-seam fastball, 95.5. That's a, a rock and roll station in L.A., KLOS, 95.5. He was bringing the seventh best in baseball, second highest by an angel since the track he began in 09 when G-Rich was averaging 96.5. Joe was talking about it as Shohei Otani steps in. How is this guy not sore? I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. How do you, I mean, most pitchers, after throwing that hard, I mean, every pitch he threw yesterday had a lot on it. Close game like that. So your legs, your arm, your ribs, everything are sore. One and no. One and one gets the call. Well, Shohei has proven the day after he pitches, Hey, no problem. 15 home runs. Across the board, everything. Slugging, OPS, average. Swings at that one. It'll be three unassisted. Daniel Lowe steps on the bag. Well, he's out there. And you know it's just a matter of time until Shohei Otani is going to connect for a long ball. But so far, he's hit quite a few baseballs on the ground. That means right. he's trying to pull a little bit more when he hits the ball on the ground. And Salvador Perez for the Royals today with two home runs. He's got 40. So Show, Shohei Otani's being challenged as far as the home run lead in baseball now. Most home runs by a catcher in American League history. Salvi Perez, what a season. What a player. And I, I've talked to you about this. The Royal Hall of Famer, Mark Gubiza, is that you, you look at the, the Mount Rushmore of Kansas City Royals, Salvi Perez. Gosselin hits that one straight away. Leota Tavares goes back and makes the play. We have two down. And I saw that a lot last year. He is a very good outfit. He can cover some ground, and he's fearless in center field for the Rangers. Those are tough plays, right? Those ones that go straight at you. They're the toughest ones to read. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can't hit a baseball much harder than that for, for Gosselin. It's left-handed pitching very, very well. Brings up Jack Mayfield hitting cleanup tonight for the Angels. Two down here in the fourth. Colby Allard, and that's going to go right back to him. That's one pitch, one down, and three down in the fourth. And it's uh, one nothing. Angels lead the Rangers. ourselves a nice pitching matchup between Suarez and Allard of the Rangers. Suarez, we've mentioned this, looking for his first career win here at the Big A. And he's just looking for a quality start. It's It's been a while for Jose Suarez. And this is his 10th start. And he's yet to do it. So this would be a good time. 
He's been efficient in this ball game, and I think for for everybody watching, you've been waiting for a moment for Jose Suarez. Hopefully, this is it. This, you go back to the, what he did in relief in Yankee Stadium with five and a third with 57 pitches in that game, as I recall, and he threw the ball except well because he was attacking the strike zone. Nathaniel Lowe steps in there. If Lowe hits it to Renhifo, they were teammates back in the Rays organization. Nathaniel was there with his brother Josh Lowe, first round pick. And El Renhifo tried, but that's going to fall in there for a base hit. And that's the second hit of the ball game for the Rangers. So Nathaniel Lowe's got a a smile on his face about that one. And again, Suarez is going to be working with the runner on the bases. Take a look at our place in by Frontier, how well that changeup has worked early on. For Jose Suarez looks like a strike out of the strike zone consistently, sets up with a good fastball to set these good changeups away. So far, two of those swing and misses out of the strike zone. Another changeup just barely touching the outside part. There's enough strikes with it to get chases for this changeup tonight. And that brings up Nick Solak. 11 game hit streak for the Rangers. In play. And he's 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he takes strike one. Listen to Nick on a Rangers Zoom. And they were comparing him to Wolverine. And he's like, look, I'm just growing a beard, man. I'm not, yes. yeah, Jimmy, come on. Yeah, sure, I like I like X-Men. I'm a baseball player. That's popped up. Heard Louis. Luis Renifo called that one. That's, that's nice out. Nice quick work right there. Solak. Wolverine back to the back to the dugout. Interesting to watch that. You see Solak running hard down to first base because the Angels over the last few years are going to pop up like that. They'll occasionally let that ball fall in. And if he's not running hard down the line, he can still turn a double play on it. Love. No infield fly. That's right. This man on first. First and second only with the infield fly. I would, I would love to see something like that. Of course, I'd let you handle the play by play on that one. <laughs> Charlie Culberson I'm down low at first base. That one's downstairs, ball one. I mentioned this earlier, what a view. Oh my goodness, look at the mountains, the lighting. It's a beautiful night, beautiful night. It's a great night for a ball game here at the Big A. You want to take care of business here against the Texas Rangers. And that one's tapped, this could be trouble. And it is. That's one of those plays as a pitcher. As much as you like the field, the ground balls. I don't know if you're going to have a play anyhow for Mayfield, but he's coming in on the baseball as a pitcher. You're going away, especially a left-handed thrower. So that's a long throw, an off-balance throw. Third baseman, Jack Mayfield, has a much, much better chance, even though that would have been a difficult one. You see him coming in to use the bare hand. Colbert. you got, you got to try to communicate. You're so yeah. used to trying to get everything you can as a pitcher. Really, there's only one pitcher that gets that play, by the way, and makes it throw to the first base. Shohei Ohtani. Shohei Ohtani. Culberson runs too well. Yeah. It, the barehanded play by Mayfield's got to be the only one. You're right, for it's a sure. Big, big batter right now for Suarez. He's gotten five double plays turned behind him this year. If he can spot his changeup, get him out in front, get a ground ball in an infield, that might be your shot to get a double play. Yohel Pozo, designated hitter for the Rangers. First and second, one down and a one nothing Angels lead. Here in the top of the fifth. The one run for the Angels, Juan Ligaris. The long home run of Colby Allard, Texas Rangers. Last inning, Suarez was able to get out of trouble. Tavares got all the way to third after a leadoff double after an error pickoff attempt at second base. But that change. Change piece has been working so far. One and one. 
That's a pretty good take because the first pitch was a changeup called a strike. And that was just a little bit off the corner. You think oh, that's exactly where you want to throw it. Because if you get a swing, you're going to get an off-balance ground ball on that one. But he took it very well. Which is not a good sign if you're a pitcher. Pozo swings through that one. So he went to the four-seam fastball. I was just going to ask if you're a hitter and you're seeing, what, 50% or more of that changeup in this ballgame. Something like that. You've got to be looking changed, but then he comes with the heater. Yeah, Lance Barks there is going to give Kurt Suzuki a little bit of a chance on the follow-through on that swing. It looks like he hit. Pozo did on the back. Kurt Suzuki tied him up at a fastball inside. It's awfully tight in there. That fastball was up and in, right? Looks like Kurt Suzuki has been through it all in his career. Long, long career. Top 10 all time putouts. Man. I was going to say, Pozo's up there looking ready. Like he's ready to hack. He's got that, that batting stance. Well, you're happy to get that one back. That was a changeup right down the heart of the plate. And you can see Kurt Suzuki give him that fist pump, like, okay, let's make an adjustment. He missed the spot, but he got away with it. See what, how quick the adjustment is for Suarez on this next pitch. One and two, runner at second. You know, they're adjusting the signs. There's the look at the card. Gooby, you just didn't have the index cards back in the day, did you? No. Had it all in your head. These guys have index cards everywhere out there. It was pretty much just wild enough where nobody uh, could really be comfortable. I, and believe me, I wasn't trying to be that wild at times on the mound. This little double play here would be nice. One and two, one down. That one's in the dirt. Good stop by Suzuki. Curveball. That was well out in front of the plate. This is, that's an excellent job. You mentioned Kurt Suzuki been around for a long, long time behind the plate. Did everything well on that one to keep that in front, keep that double play still in order. So Colberson reaching on that infield single. You know, we, we saw a lot of that last night. Eight. Eight infield singles. So now we... Know that Pozo's up there looking to hack, wants to drive the baseball. Two and two. Big moment for Suarez here in the fifth. That's a fly ball. Ligaris is there. Two down. It's great to see. That's, that's a gold glove winner, how he got his body to turn around in a good throwing position. That's good to see. If you, even if you're Joe Adele out on right field, you're seeing how a gold glover prepares I mean, he's, he's going to make that play and it's not probably going to be tagged up there by low at second but he's still got around the baseball exceptionally well too it's a learning experience for joe adele to watch that from lagars in center great job by juan lagars well, lagars has been it's been a good teammate all season long there's been times when he wasn't getting a lot of playing time but every time he gets out there it's just solid solid defense they loved him in in new york the mets they were mad when he wasn't in the lineup So this is Jose Trevino, ninth hitter, two outs. Can Suarez get out of this jam? <laughs> One or no. That one's hit to left field. In comes Gosselin, running hard, and he makes the catch. Remember, he was working on ground balls at first base all day long. Slides in and makes a great play in left field. The goose loose with the glove. Prevents a run for the Rangers sliding in there. Nice play. Halo still up. One to nothing. All birds worships the ground you run on because it's the only ground we've got. That's why we're focused on natural materials with supernatural abilities. Things like eucalyptus fiber that wick sweat. Dry quick, breathe easy, and fit great the natural way. Nerds! Have new money goals this year? Nerd Wallet can help make them happen. 
like getting auto insurance to match your new zero mile commute? We have tools for that. Want to refinance your mortgage and put those savings into the college fund? We have tips for that too. Or get a low interest credit card for your long awaited honeymoon? We can help you find the one. Credit card, that is. Discover and compare the smartest credit cards, mortgage lenders, and more on Nerd Wallet. For all your money questions, turn to the nerds. And it's one nothing Angels over the Rangers. Bottom of the fifth inning. Excellent pitching on both sides. Suarez getting out of trouble. Goslin making a great catch to end the top half of the fifth. And in comes Jared Walsh. Always ready to play. In fact, he was a, a late add to the lineup. Justin Upton was in the lineup. Left, uh, did not get to play. It was a scratch because of some back pain in warm -up, So, So Walsh is in there. He was hitting some absolute bombs, by the way, in BP. Colby Allard, Anaheim native in his 50th career appearance and his first career start here at the Big A. Big lefty, he, he pounds the strike zone, that's for sure. Foul back. So players with 25 home runs and 80 RBI in a season in their first 100 plus game season some good company, Austin Riley, Fernando Tatis Jr., Walshy. Yeah, anytime you can be in there with the same conversation with those two right now, Jared Walsh, it's impressive company, 25-80. And Walsh, so that's an excellent play. Culberson gets him at first, one down. But that was a really, really good swing. I know when you go back to the dugout, everyone can say good swing. You want the results of the hit. He stayed back, hit that one well. Culberson made a really nice play on that. In the shift, a third baseman playing shortstop. He's played shortstop before in his career. He's played seven different positions in his career. Playing shortstop there, making the play. He was playing shortstop and third base. He was the only one on that side of the infield. Joe Adele steps in strike one. Now, you probably know this, Gooby. Sorry, based on your, your keen eye. We have not had a single three ball count tonight. And, of course... Now that I say that, one and one. Well, there's one so far. <laughs> <laughs> just want to test this, I don't know, this announcer thing. I just feel tonight Joe Adele is going to crush a baseball at some point. You just feel it. He's ready to really let go and crush one. He's in a good count to look for a certain pitch, for a pitcher that throws a lot of fastballs. Between a cutter and a fastball, it should get one of the two here. Two and one. Foul back two and two. What'd you think? Did you like the hack at that one, Gooby? Sometimes I see something fouled straight back. I think, oh, he's on that. Yeah, but sometimes I mean, it depends. He was, he was looking for right center. That's mm -hmm. the type of pitch on a cutter away like that. You have to drive the right center. That one's driven to left field, and that's going to fall for a base hit. DJ Peters was looking to come in and make a play, but Adele with the base hit. Sometimes a big swing from a strong hitter can freeze an outfit. That basically would happen to Phil Gosselin. He was able to recover because we know how quick he can be running that last one down. Didn't get that right on the barrel of bat. A little bit more so towards the handle and the label, and still strong enough to get that in the outfield for a hit. Big healthy swing. It, it's tough not to freeze for a moment. Mm -hmm. And then, he, you know, he comes in, but no, that one just falls in. 
The Angels is only their, their second hit of the ball game off Allard, the other one being the Ligaris home run. So this brings up Kurt Suzuki. Taps that one back. B.J. Peters using that bare hand on that. Went Kevin Mitchell, although Kevin Mitchell went with the bare hand and made a catch on a fly ball down the line. That checked up on and used the bare hand in the outfield. Did did Mitchell with the Padres at that time? Did is that right or no? Who was he? With? Did he make it with behind his back? Yeah, I, I thought it was San Francisco. Oh, okay. The Giants. Yeah. yeah, the Giants. Great dude. I was in the right division. 0-1. That's still going to go down to one of the most amazing plays. Just run out there and just reach up with your bare hand and run that one down because he had to go a long way to make that play. Top 10 defensive play in, in baseball yeah, history. Yeah, because, you know, the degree of difficulty, yeah. catch probability without a, using the glove had to be up there pretty high. How about that? Suzuki hits that one to center field. Tavares is there, two down. All right, everybody, join us after the game this Sunday for Kids Run the Bases. It's presented by Yakult Probiotic Drink, kids ages 3 through 13 are invited onto the field to race around the bases. Visit angels.com slash promotions for more info. Gooby, in, in all your years with the Royals, even here with the Angels, long baseball game, let's say 16, 17 innings, did, did they ever have to bring you in, pinch run, any situation like that? No, but I was always ready every day. I literally had my cleats on every day, my glove down on the, on the dugout, just in case that ever was a probability. I always wanted to. Comes Juan Ligaris. Last time we saw Ligaris was the third inning. He absolutely hammered a ball into the Angels' bullpen. That Manny was unable to make a play on. <laughs> 1 0. Speed at first, and Joe Adele checks on him. Base Steelers have been successful in all five attempts against Allard. Hmm. Seven of eight in his career, just his one pickoff. Going on first movement, you have a shot at picking up a stolen base. Feels like the Angels have certainly been more aggressive. And he goes, oh, he's picked off. The throw down. And Joe Adele is out at second base. And that's going to end the inning. And again, Juan Lagares will still have a chance next time around for the Angels. It's a nice move. Adele is out. Sometimes you might not feel ready for the moment. With Roman at your side, we got this. You can take care of erectile dysfunction discreetly. So that you're ready. Roman ready. It's not just because Bowling Branch organic cotton sheets are incredibly soft. They are. And it's not just that they're free from toxins and made by people who are paid and treated fairly. That's true too. It's because home is where the magic happens. And with better sheets made in safer ways, home makes the world a better place. Kind of a wide throw. And I don't know, on second thought, looking at it, Go to go to replay. They're in replay right now. I think Joe Waddell might have might have made it safely, Gooby. See if he gets the foot in there before the tag. That foot is in there. That is in there. And did he stay on the base all the way through the tag? That's the important thing. And Texas is going back on the field. They saw the replay too. They're thinking maybe he was in there. I thought initially he got his foot in. You see the foot on the base and then the tag on the shin. Looks like he's going to be called safe. The stolen base. Safe he is. That's the that's the beauty of replay. I got to get my head around that, and I hold on. We went to break. I was looking at it as we were we were heading to break, and I was like, that was a close play. Called out. Credit Mike Gallego and Ryan Garko inside saw that. Oh, now God. you have Lagarde who homered, gets a chance to swing with a man in scoring position here, and Joe Adele with his speed base hit, be a two nothing game. Should be a nice turn of events right here. And again, two down. Dell remains alive at second base. It's outside. 
At the very least, it's going to force Aller to throw more pitches. See how many extra pitches they'll throw now in this inning when you thought you're through the inning. He did his job. He had him picked off. Swings through that one, but the speed of Adele. Low knows that. Sometimes that's a tough throw for the first baseman with the runner going down there, but just throw, throw that one a touch wide. And, and if you notice that Joe Adele ran right at the base, that made a more difficult throw. So he had to throw to the shortstop side of the bag and allow him to get in there. Two and one. Two and two. Joe Adele's the fastest guy in baseball when you, when you go by feet per second. We saw that last night, that speed. That's the type of baseball the, the Angels want to play. They have speed on the bench, and Brandon Marsh down goes Juan Lagara. So good job there by Colby Allard. He's pitching a heck of a ball game. It's one nothing Angels, end of the fifth. Hey, Harold, how do you prepare for a big show? Well, I just try to stay positive, take it one show at a time, and treat it just like any other show. How do you feel about the other analysts you work with? It's a great group of guys. We're all on the same page. I'm just happy to be here. What's your prediction for the season? We'll see what happens. It all comes down to execution in the studio. The pro player answers. He's still got it. <laughs> the analyst of MLB Tonight, answering baseball's toughest questions on MLB Network. Today and so far the one about the changeup. Look at the finish. Look at the way that arm is coming out of that glove. You know, little turned action with that wrist. Follow through. Fastball's got some life. He's being honest in and out. And Kurt Suzuki, the veteran catcher, doing a very good job setting up that target. Patrick, nice pace. It's been a key for Suarez, who has never had a quality start in his career. He's had nine tries, Hosey, this season. But you're right, unable to get it done. But Five innings. This might be some of the best work we've seen from Jose Suarez in his young Angels career. Averaging just over 11 pitches per inning tonight. Love the efficiency. Top of the order for the Rangers here in the top of the sixth inning. Leody Tavares. Nice at bat last time, Gooby, in that fourth inning. The double. Also leading off that inning, but unable to score. Remember, you fire in your mind as a pitcher, what do you hit? It was a low pitch. So you're going to try at some point if you get back into this count. Now, 2 0. Ride fastballs upstairs. Well, this is the part of the game that has been the, you know, the sticky part for Suarez. Shakes off Suzuki, 2 0. A lot of speed here. Gets the call. Right on the corner. That's a nice pitch. Going back to the four seam fastball. Two and one. Well, certainly, I would say at least a half tank. 61 pitches. He's, he's pitching well, but falls behind three and one. Still got to get in that trust of attacking the strike zone. Don't look ahead. Look right at the batter in front of you now. Certainly don't want to lose Tavares in a one-nothing ball game here in the six. Three and one. 
Oh, that's that's a ground ball, and yeah, he's everywhere. He David is. Fletcher. He is Fletch. <laughs> Playing fantastic defense all season long. I don't think he's really touched the baseball all night that I've seen practically, except that that pickoff attempt. The baseball was hit pretty hard too. That's yeah. a tough little late hop on him. Especially when you haven't really been involved a lot defensively, that tough first one makes it difficult. Especially sometimes when he plays like shallow right field, the way the ball kind of checks up, the spin changes out there in right field. And he's played so many different positions in the outfield grass. That's on the dirt at 102 miles per hour exit velocity, so it got them quick. Isaiah kiner Falefa fouls this one up. Uh, fouls it. Flies it up to Phil Gosselin, two down. So that's that's good work there by Jose Suarez. The MLB ballpark app will complete your next visit to the Big A. Buy and manage game tickets, redeem offers, access exclusive content, so much more. Download the MLB ballpark app today. Today, I know that my one of my daughters jumped on the MLB ballpark app today. Nice. Watch a little baseball, a little angel baseball. She's got good reason to. Adolis Garcia. You got to get to that quick. That's going to roll back into fair territory. That's the guy that's worked on that slow roller down the line. Jack Mayfield knowing that's going to roll back into play. Is that the tendency here? Yep. Because every coach, when they go to a ballpark, whether the home team or the road team, you'll roll baseballs down each line to see if it'll roll back. And if you're in a climate where you don't get a lot of rain, you'll have more tendency to roll back in there. Other places like in the east or midwest, because they want the water to drain off the field, it will go out foul rather easily. This is going to roll back into play there. And there's some famous ballparks that want it rolling one way or the other in history. Hey, bet you can name a few. Owen won. Fouled off. I like how aggressive he is today. 92 mile an hour fastball. Now we have a, a USC Trojans jersey. It's football Saturday. Fight on, Gooby. Yes. <laughs> it's always nice when the college football season kicks off. How'd your, how'd your fighting Irish do today? I didn't see that. I know that Penn, Penn State, Penn State were winners over Wisconsin. That's all that matters. We are Penn State. Me some college football. I, I did a lot of research, of course, for, for this series, especially before the, the first game on my fantasy football team. The big draft. 0-2 now. To Adolis Garcia sitting on 29 home runs, and he gets him. Way to go, Jose Suarez. And guess what? You got yourself a quality start, young man. First of the season. And it's one nothing Halos. It is gone! Every time he steps up to the plate, oh goes into his windup. Or runs one down. He caught it. Oh, you won't see a better one than that. He competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. Cam replay, Abby. <laughs> On this day, September 4th, 1993, it was his only career no hitter versus Cleveland. Of course, Jim Abbott, a great angel. Uh, what a tremendous moment! 
great guy. Uh, one of the all-time greats. All-time. All-time. All-time great angel. What an incredible man. As what we a celebrate pitch. the 60th anniversary of Angels baseball. He's one of the all-timers. All-time. That was... And that was something when, unfortunately, he, he had to move on. So that crushed a lot of Halo fans. But couldn't be happier for anybody in that moment right there. Luis Renifo steps in. Third recall by the Angels. It was crushing in AAA. Well, every once in a while in that fastball, the follow-through for Colby Aller, do you think of David Price on that little recoil when he throws that high fastball? Just like David Price, will throw a cut fastball a lot. So four seam and cutter. Well, David Price was certainly very efficient. I think I remember one complete game. He had like 95 pitches. And so far, Allard, Gooby's allowed. He's gotten 15 outs, 10 on at-bats of, of three pitches or less. It's been outstanding. Really good. Two and one to Renhifo. Fouls that one back, two and two. Again, it's one nothing. Here in the bottom of the six. The only damage and only two hits for the Angels. Juan Lagares in bottom of the third with the home run off Colby Allard. Anaheim's own Colby Allard, his first career start here. And he's pitching a great ball game. Two and two to Renhifo. You see all that follow through, that hop when he delivers the baseball. I know for Texas, offense, offensive numbers have been brutal this year. But I know they've gotten some arms and some trades, and we'll see some more. Another lefty tomorrow, another rookie on Monday. And Renifa draws a leadoff walk. Well, you got that three uh, ball count. You're working it. So it does work. <laughs> Time now for a quick word from Hyundai. Head to your Hyundai dealer today, where new vehicles are arriving daily. Hey, it's your journey. Own it. See what kind of move that Joe Madden has now with that leadoff walk. He got Fletch at the plate. Not easy to ever put a hit and run on with a left-handed pitcher. It's difficult to get a good jump. We already saw the, the pickoff to Adele. who was able to beat that throw to second base for the stolen bag. That one's inside. One thing you know about Fletcher is he's going he's gonna to put the ball in play the majority of the time. And he's not going to strike out very often. This is a good part of the ball game to make something happen. With Shohei Otani on deck. 2-0. Okay. So right now, Allard, other than the home run, first bit of trouble he's had to deal with. The crowd starts to make some noise. 2-0 now. Fastball count, Fletch, 95 hits versus a fastball this year, 95 of them. Strike one. Again, Fletcher coming in today, just two hits off the MLB lead. For hits, last Angel to lead the league and hits. Ersty, what a season he had, 240. Man. Check on Renhifo. By the way, we saw Abby with that no-no. Yankees lost today to the Orioles, four to three. And with the Rays winning, they're now seven and a half back of the Rays. Tell you what, it's been fun watching these two lefties pitch today, both Youngs, right? Lefties. Allard has thrown the ball very, very well. Making the San Clemente Tritons happy. Nice. Nice pull. Former high school coach, though. You know, that's a ground ball. Oh, and it goes right through the legs of Charlie Culberson. That's a five hole all day. Did that take a bad bounce? I don't know. That is unusual play. That's an E5 runners at first and second. Nobody out now. He looked like he peeked up to make the throw. He is fifth error at third base for Culberson. So what did a nice job of being at the base and pretending that as if the throw was going to come his way. And he got a slide in for Renhifo. Otherwise, he's going to be able to go all the way to third. See, he's looking up to see that and didn't get it quite into the glove. It looked like, I don't know if you're going to turn two against Fletch running down the line. 
But at the very least, you won't have Shoei coming up with two on. For sure, thinking of trying to get the out at second base. And here we go. Otani time. Did he get it? Did he get it? He did! Wow! Shohei Otani first pitch, home run number 43! It is showtime! Shohei, the money, three run shot. 43 on the season, 93 RBIs. Otani, who pitched incredibly last night for seven innings, hits a three-run home run tonight. What a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, Shohei Otani. That baseball was absolutely crushed. Destroyed. It makes a different sound off the bat than any I've ever heard before. 107 exit velo, 426 feet. Wow! Just like that, just when you think maybe a double play is in order, doesn't get turned, and Shohei goes, you know what? You will pay for that extra out. What a swing, how short that was. Wow, incredible. Phil Gosselin up now, and it's 4 nothing Angels. So How would you like to follow that up after that swing? I wouldn't mind, because everyone's still going to be talking about this. So the day after he pitches, night after he pitches, 16 home runs. On the night, you're supposed to be like in the cold tub <laughs> with your entire side and in complete oh, almost turmoil. And he absolutely crushed that baseball. It's also his 16th home run off the lefty. Lefty on lefty crime foul back. The record, by the way, most ever home runs by a lefty against a left handed pitcher in a single season. Junior, Ken Griffey Jr. did it twice. And Barry Bonds, 21, and that's number 16 for Shohei Otani. There's a full count. That was just incredible. That is incredible. After last night, career high 117 pitches going to 9 and 1. And you mentioned it with Salvi Perez putting a little heat on that home run leaderboard with two. And that's a line drive base hit by Phil Gosselin. Right now, Colby Allard found himself in a little bit of trouble after pitching a great ball game to this point. Well, that baseball was crushed, it too. It sure was. Just great. Great approach, opposite way. It's about combined 300 miles per hour the last two batters. <laughs> and that certainly is going to get the bullpen up and running. Evans is up. It's amazing how every once in a while when a play's not made, you got all that emotion you're pitching here at the ballpark you've been to before as a youngster. You have family and friends. and. Things are going well. You just one mistake, really, the entire game. Even the second hit for the Angels, Joe Adele was not squared up. It fell in nicely in the left field, but the play not made. And lo and behold, you look up in a three-run home run, and now a line drive by Gosselin. Yeah, the air by, by Culberson, he's got to be feeling that for sure. That's as a pitcher. That's when you got to pick him up because you know he feels bad on that one. Yeah. Unable to. Pitching coach Doug Mathis, quick visit. Howard back in action. Strike one, Jack Mayfield. Looking for the knockout punch right here. The bottom of the sixth inning. Two long balls that Allard has given up that he has been known to do. And especially on first pitch. We're even going back to what the numbers were against some first pitch, 373 with four home runs, an OPS of 1,000 on the first pitch put in play, and Shohei was ready. It's still amazing. I'm just still, I just can't believe he was able to run around and smile like he did coming in, we were opening of the game today, having a fun time going to the dugout after that performance on the mound yesterday, 117 pitches, a career high. And then you hit a ball 426 feet.
It's the best season in baseball history. There just isn't a debate what Shohei Otani is doing this year. We may never see again. There might be some players that are being, might be just learning to walk right now that this might be the thing of baseball in the future, what Shohei Otani is doing to the record books. I haven't seen anything like it. Just absolutely blessed to see it here. That's a ground ball. That could be two. And it is. Allard's thankful for that. Trying to get through this six inning brings up Jared Walsh. Keep it an eye on Walsh. Got last at bat, he hit the ball hard. Culberson made a real nice play on that hard ground ball to the left side of the infield for Jared Walsh. See if he can carry that over against the lefty here in Allard. Pretty much any player that you talk to about Shohei. Oh, that's a base hit. Nice call, Gooby. It's nice to see Jared Walsh against the lefty. Have solid contact on the first pitch again. Yeah, and he just looked out over the plate, a little bit above the belt, didn't try to pull it, lines it. Left field, single. Two good swings in a row against the lefty. It's going to bring out Chris Woodward to go to the bullpen for Texas. So Colby Allard, five and two thirds, two big home runs. He leaves the ball game. Evans is coming in and a four nothing Angels lead over the Rangers pitching change. It is gone! Every time he steps up to the plate, oh goes into his windup, or runs one down. He caught it. Oh, you won't see a better one than that. He competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. Angels baseball on Valley Sports is brought to you by Hyundai. The Hyundai Getaway Sales Event is going on now with summer only savings on all models. Visit buyhyundai.com today. By Jack in the Box. Try our new 350 spicy tiny tacos and our 450 loaded spicy tiny tacos only at Jack in the Box or get them delivered. And by your Southern California Cadillac dealers. Yeah, you're making me hungry right now. You know, one thing I, I found, you know, trying to get used to the timing of uh, sitting here in this, this incredible seat to, to be next to you is the thrill of a lifetime and to see Shohei go deep. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but trying to figure out when to eat. Yeah. And then, of course, I got to read this Jack in the Box Tiny Taco billboards and, and be extra hungry. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Plenty of time to eat. Just want to take this all in. What a moment. What a game. Now Joe Adele. The righty Demarcus Evans comes in. So one two with a 481 ERA. 24 and a third innings pitch this year for the Rangers. 31 strikeouts. Yeah, fastball is 88, 95 range. You see a couple 88 one, the curveball, slider. One and one to Joe. Tried to get time there. Now, what would you recommend 
a hit or do. It's, it's at the umpire's discretion. Yeah, he, he doesn't have to give you timeout. You just got to make sure when you ask for it, if you're not getting it, you got to be ready, prepared to see a pitch right away. You take your hand off the bat, though, that's not going to help. You just no. can, you just call it, unless right? you're Unless you're Bo Jackson, he did that one time and hit a home run like that. <laughs> With one Call hand. timeout. No, we got the hand back just in time to hit a home run. When, when Bo snapped that twig over his helmet like that, did you ever just try it just to see how hard it would be? I tried breaking a bat over my leg one time, and I almost ended up on the I.L. myself. I said, you know what? Only Bo could do those things. I think there's a stronger human. Now Shohei, one and two. It's foul back. Joe Adele is a, a freakish athlete. And, I, you know, he had uh, tremendous... Uh, Tremendous skill in high school. They wanted him to play every single sport, basketball, football. He could pretty much do it all, but baseball was his thing. He's worked so incredibly hard at it, and here he is. At the end of this 2021 season, Zion, 2022, being an everyday player for this Angels team. By the way, this... Having a little fun back and forth with Bo Jackson today on the social media on Twitter. Really? Because his 35th anniversary of his first game was yesterday. He had an infield hit. I saw that. And, oh. and uh, I was joking around when I was saying, hey, you got to meet Shohei Otani because the Angels go to Chicago and he does a lot of stuff with the White Sox in mid-September. How great would that be for Shohei and Bo to meet each other? Bo, no show. <laughs> <laughs> no show. Does that just come to you? It does, doesn't it? Man, you're good. And that'd be so great. I mean, two guys that had that absolute wow factor. Two and two, two down, bottom of the six. And Joe Adele goes down swinging. But a three-run home run from, you guessed it, Shohei Otani is MLB leading. 43rd home run, and that was way out. And it makes it 4 0 Angels. Everywhere you go, everything you do, you can always take the game with you. And you can bring your friends. Night at the ballpark tonight, 4 0 Angels over the Rangers heading to the seventh inning. Hey, play Home Run Blast presented by Coors Light. You pick three players you think are going to homer. If they go deep, you win cash. Go to the Bally Sports app or homerunblast.com to play. Must be 21. Free to play, and you can win cash. It's my kind of game. That is your kind of game, Patrick. As is this one, Gooby. How about Jose Suarez? It's the deepest he's ever gone in a ball game. Has been efficient. Only 67 pitches so far. DJ Peters leading things off here. Top seven. Okay. Take that one. You remember last time he got some high fastballs by him. 92-93 just at the top or above the strike zone. 
Seven strikeouts on the night for Suarez. He's gotten Garcia three straight times swinging. 0-1-1. One, one. one and one. If you're a young pitcher and you're in this situation, you know it. You know you haven't been this deep into a ball game in the big leagues. What crosses your mind? Anything? Uh, just go out there and keep I, throwing I, strikes. I'm keeping in my mindset it's a still a 0-0 game, and my goal is to shake the catcher's hand after nine innings. That's right. Foul back. We've got two strikes. That was pretty much your goal every single time you took the mound, Doobie. You've had great success against this Rangers team in your career. If I'm not mistaken, your last complete game shutout against the Rangers or CG anyway. Yeah, I think you're right on that one. But they had, they had some pretty good success against me a few times down in the old stadium. I don't look up those numbers. That's good. Thank you, Patrick. One and two to Peters. Oh, yeah. That's the eighth strikeout of the night. Gets Peters looking second time. He struck out Peters. What a pitch. So the three four hitters in the lineup for Suarez today with five strikeouts. Five. That's a great pitch for Seam. Just that's a hitter that's thinking, OK, if he's going to go to that part of the plate, more than likely it's going to be a changeup. Painted a fastball instead. It's got it all working right now. Now Nathaniel Lowe steps up. Left hander. One's down. Lowe's got a single back in the fifth inning. Has some pop. That's for sure. 14 home runs, 61 RBI. His dad was a baseball player and a football player at Air Force Academy. He was drafted in baseball, but decided to go to the Air Force Academy and join the Navy. These two really good baseball players in Nathaniel Lowe and Josh Lowe, both drafted by the Rays, same exact year. Younger brother Josh, a first round pick. But Nathaniel made it to the show before him. Well, it's older brother. 2 0. Oh. All right, 3 0. Oh. You can't look ahead, you just got to think attack mode, stay there. Yes. Even though Lowe got a base hit, he didn't hit that ball hard. Last yeah. at bat, this flared into left center. Work your way back in the count. The one thing when you see that as a manager and a pitching coach, when you see a pitcher going where he hasn't gone before here in the seventh inning, a walk, especially a quick walk like this, will get people up moving around in the bullpen. Gets the strike call there. Good one, 91 miles per hour inside part of the plate. Three and one. That changes everything. Get yourself right back in the account, but it's also a good hitter's count. 3-1. So I ask you now, what do you go to? Fastball. Ground ball. Renifo. Did he get him on a stretch? He does. Beautiful play. Two down. Let's go back to that stretch by Walsh. That was a great play by Renifo, working all day long on ground balls with Brian Butterfield. What a play this was. Now it's time for Mike's hard lemonade, hard play. This was a very difficult, hard play. The throw and then the stretch. Patio, will we ever get up after that stretch by Walsh? We'd never be able to move again. I Tough actually, that stretch. yeah, I just pulled my hammy looking at the, oh. the, the Mike's hard lemonade replay. Wow. What a play by Ren Hefo. Got a lot on that off balance throw, oh, too. Oh, he barely, look, he barely got his foot back on the bag. It was off the bag when he caught the ball and he reached back. Oh, that is a tremendous play by Walsh, who has played great first base. When you look at his fielding percentage, he should be in the discussion for a gold glove. Nice job, though, by Suarez coming back and getting it out after falling behind 3-0. He's got two down. Defense picking him up right there. Nick Solak trying to keep a 11 game hitting streak alive. Suarez, something to say about that. 0 and 1. 1 and 1. So Didn't far, five ground ball outs for Suarez coming into the game. A 51.2% ground ball rate. He's got the strikeout work, you know. 
As you see there, only 78 pitches. Picking up where Shohei left off on the mound, teaching these young guys how to battle. Held up, two and one, two down in the seventh in a game that has seen Juan Ligaris with a one nothing lead, home run, and then Shohei Otani with the three run home run bottom of the six, an absolute bomb. His 43rd. The night after he pitched seven unbelievable innings, just can't make it up. Two and one. Ground ball, Renifo once again. Nice stab, the throw, and he gets him. Great Solid defense. Great defense, and Jose Suarez, seven scoreless innings. And it's a four nothing Halo lead. Welcome to the nerd life. The Penn and Chase is all about the numbers on MLB Now, only on MLB Network. Mike Trout, people know he's one of the greatest players this game's ever seen. Meet Mike Trout. Can run. He's he watching can, MLB can Network. He's one of the nicest people you're ever going to meet. Because that's yes, what baseball fans do. And he's also got tremendous show hair with his hat off. Here's our ballpark view from the T-Mobile coverage cam. And Gooby, the fans were just on their feet. You know, at the, at the seventh inning stretch, the, uh, the game entertainment here at the Big A, they throw the, the pika. Now, I thought it was a groundhog. I'm being told it's a pika. Never heard of that before. And they do Freddie Mercury, right? Oh, the yes. A-O. 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 <laughs> so good. All right. Oh, man, the crowd loves it. They eat it up. Evans back out there for the Rangers in a 4-0 Halo lead. Kurt Suzuki. How By the way, he's done an outstanding Thank job you. behind the plate. Just going to say that. Working with Jose Suarez. That's his number one job. That's it. Getting a base hit or so in his times at the plate is a solid, but what he's done behind the plate has been outstanding. Working with the pace of Jose Suarez and getting him to hit spots and trust their game plan. Imagine it would be hard if you're if you're a pitcher that if you're slow and that's your deliberate pace to kind of pick it up because it's the big leagues you can get yourself into trouble that way but I bet you that's when the battery a nice veteran like Suzuki can help you out. Swings at that one. That's a fly ball. Tavares has that one one down. You look at the plays made today defensively. If you're working slower those plays may not be made but when you're working quickly like Suarez has done tonight. Renhipo, a couple really, really good plays. Walsh, it's a good plays. Great play out in left field by Gosselin. They're on their toes, mm -hmm. ready to make a play because he's working at a good pace. Who Jack Mayfield, who, too. Yeah. Yeah. Good plays. Just going to wonder who taught you that early on in your career. Had a great mentor I used to sit next to all the time in the lock, locker room, Dennis Leonard, who was a multiple 20 game winner. He says, the best thing you can do. You know, you can go through game plans. He goes, work quickly because your defense will make plays behind you. You cannot win without your defense making plays behind you. They're number one as far as to be successful. 
Juan Lagares homered earlier. He's up there right now. It's 0 and 2. I would imagine if you're, let's say you're, I don't know, George Brett, and a pitcher's on the hill and you're taking your time, not going to be too happy about it. No. And he mentioned a few times, let's go. <laughs> While you're out there? <laughs> oh, yes. So when you have veterans around you like Frank White who won multiple gold gloves at second, George Brett was a gold glove winner at third, he goes, do you want, to make, do you want us to make plays for you? I go, yes. But he says, work quickly. <laughs> That's all right. I shall listen. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the plays today. Great right field. Yep. Well, one thing Madden said is Renifo's going to get playing time. And with Jose Iglesias getting released, that's what we're seeing. Magaris goes down, swinging on that one. Yeah, strikeout. Boy, Evans is getting a lot of swing and misses on his four-seam fastball. And if you look up, it's 88-90. You think it's upper 90s. But he has that illusion of riding that fastball up above the strike zone. At 90, gets it by him. Again, tough to catch up with that high fastball. He's on quite a few four-seamers, too. And it's not upper 90s. Here's Renifo. Drew a walk last time up. He's 0 for 1. It's a fly ball. Tavares is there. And could be 0 for 2 for Renifo. And quick work there. The Marcus Evans. 4 0. End of the set. Mike Trout, people know he's one of the greatest players this game's ever seen. Meet Mike Trout. Can run. He's field, watching can, MLB can Network. Throw. He's one of the nicest people you're ever going to meet. Because that's yes, what baseball fans do. And he's also got tremendous show hair with his hat off. It's the time of year when baseball brings you the best in show. And one mad dog. Show up and win a championship. Please. Christopher Russo takes a bite out of the pennant chase on MLB Network. Kent and Tim with you. Join us for the post-game show. We got a lot to talk about tonight. Yeah, Shohei Otani with the fireworks on a fireworks Saturday night, but Jose Suarez on the mound having a career night. Career night. Seven innings, seven, 79 pitches. And the, the thing that just that, that gets me is the fact that he's got, what is this, 84% uh, strike rate with his fastball. Uh, listen to back inside. Jose Suarez still on the hill in the eighth. Hey, Patio, by the way, great call on that Shohei home run. Goosebumps, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Frenchie. It was goosebumps to see it live, just for me, really, to actually see it with my own eyes. I'm telling you, it is something special. It's the most incredible season ever. And the, and the best start in Jose Suarez's career, Gooby, because I imagine that, that Joe Madden is like, this is your game. Yeah, and, and, he, and he said it even in this little press conference today, he was hoping that the young pitchers watched what Shohei Otani did last night, battling to get through that seventh inning and that big ground ball out to finish it off, that everyone feels the same way, that earn respect from your manager to get deep in the game, and Suarez has done that tonight. Charlie Culberson right to Renifo on a 2-0 count. Renifo perfectly positioned, throws him out. One down. Let's take another look at that last out from last night. 
This is the play. Just a great all-around play. Ross, a perfect throw to show a knowing exactly where to get there. You see the excitement there. You see that bulldog mentality for Shohei to get that last out, to keep that lead. You see that as a young pitcher. You're seeing that from Suarez here tonight. I asked Walsh about that play when he was taking some BP, came over. Very nice to, to chat with me at that moment. Great guy. He's just like, yeah, I let him. Absolutely, I let him. And, and we were talking about that, that's a difficult play for Walsh, but considering Shohei's had three at bats and he's throwing seven innings, 117 pitches, for him to get over there. Yep. That's it's not easy because your legs, that, that's all you're using is your legs when you're pitching and you're, he's hitting. But he's always in tune with his body. He knows exactly where to be at every given moment for Otani to be able to get to the bag, take that perfect route to the base. A lot of times you go up the line, if you do that, you're going to be late. Got there, catches the baseball, then finds the bag. A lot of times you'll see pitchers trying to find the bag before they catch it. That's a base hit for Pozo, his first hit of the night. So Suarez, and right now, I just I peek over at the, the Angels' bullpen. And, and you start from from this distance you start to see some some movement one of the few change-ups where he's got over a little bit more of the plate But a ground ball a lot of times that's at somebody right he had three straight ground balls at Luis Renjifo See if he can get another ground ball at Luis Renjifo and get two with it well, Jose Trevino would be a guy that you could potentially double up Not a ton of speed on the basis 85 pitches for Suarez. It's the deepest he's been in a ball game. And he pumps a fastball in there for strike one. We'd love to see that still pretty good velocity on his fastball, 91. Wentz getting ready in the bullpen just in case. Suarez is thinking, you know what? I got a ground ball in me again here. 51% ground ball rate coming in the game. See if you get another. And he does. Renjifo to Fletcher. Double play. Great call. And Suarez is through eight innings. He's only allowed four hits. He's getting it done tonight. Allbirds worships the ground you run on because it's the only ground we've got. That's why we're focused on natural materials with supernatural abilities. Things like eucalyptus fiber, that wick switch. Dry quick, breathe easy, and fit great the natural way. Nerds! Have new money goals? NerdWallet can help you find the credit card to make them happen. Want to earn enough points for a weekend of fancy camping? We have options for that. Maybe have a better credit card than your older sister. We have comparison tools for that. Or find a card that lets you donate your cash back to food banks. We have tips for that too. From low rates to the best rewards, easily discover and compare the smartest credit cards. For all your money questions, turn to the nerds. And Shohei Otani's a blast, but boy, young pitcher, lots to think about. Career high innings and strikeouts. 27th start for Jose Suarez. And it's not just about the strikeouts, and Gooby, you said this so often. Rhythm, working hard, and why not let somebody hit the ball to somebody at shortstop who is from your same hometown in Nagua Nagua in Venezuela, and a guy like Ren, he was playing great shortstop today. Good call. He's been great. I mean, yeah, I love the fact that he was out getting ground ball after ground ball, working on it because he's going to get some opportunities at shortstop. And Suarez, his pace has been great, and his defense has been even better tonight. And something that uh, he shared with me, Gooby, before the start a couple days ago, he goes, I want to be more in a pattern in out, in out with changeup and fastballs, and he's done that tonight. I love his fastball tonight, Jose. I mean, we know his changeup is good. We know that. 
but his fastball has been really, really good. Spotting it inside, but also he's thrown enough fastballs away to get chased with his changeup in that same plane. That was a pattern. Spencer Patton is on for the Rangers. David Fletcher leading off the bottom of the eighth inning. And at this point, Jose Suarez looking to take this one the distance. Absolutely love to see that. No, it's about pitching for this Angels team. The way they have grinded out this season without one of the best players ever in Mike Trout. Have yet to see Anthony Rendon and Trout play together up the middle. That kicks off the mound. Solak throws out Fletcher. And here comes Shohei Otani. And it's time for the top tier play presented by Arco. Incredible jump off the bat, Gooby. As soon as he swung, as soon as he made contact, there's not many hitters in baseball. Maybe Bonds back in the day, Griffey, when they hit it, you just know it's gone to choir. And great power. He's punched the first pitch strike and he crushed it. By the way, from a own, own Adam Chaska. So far this year, home run distance in his 43. Just a little bit under 3.5 miles of distance on his home runs. 17,908 feet. Adam Chaska with a great little tweet about that one. That's some serious distance. Can I get that in kilometers, please? <laughs> <laughs> you can name that tune on your own. <laughs> Considering that Shohei, you don't expect to, to get many pitches as the MVP chants ring out. I'd like to hear more of that. You know, I know it's $3 tickets in, in September, but what we're witnessing with Shohei Otani's never been done in the history of the game. And if you get an opportunity to get out here and see it in person, there's really nothing like it. 3-0, and he's swinging. That's amazing. This is the sound of everybody in the stands, even on a pop-up out of play. As soon as he starts to uncork the swing. But it's not just here at the Big A. It's wherever he goes to play in the big leagues. If he gets intentionally walked, the home crowd will boo, even if it's potentially the right move to win the game. And now we have a 3-1 count to show a Otan. Hmm. What's that pitch back, by the way? I want it back. 3-2, <laughs> Spencer Patton. Imagine he can go with a changeup now. Otani drives that one to right field, and that's a base hit. Second hit of the night for Shohei Otani. Starting to find the swing again. Yes, he is. 73 extra base hits in his 119 hits overall. 73 extra base hits in 119 hits this year. That's incredible. If you were to guess exit velo, just top of your head. Guessing about 107, 108. I think that might be coming in. Right around there, 105, but the radar gun, whoever the, the cop was on that one might, might have just been off a little bit. Gooby, I'm going to go with yours. It sounded good. I know that. <laughs> Checking on Shohei, who, oh, this is interesting. 22 stolen bags. And in a 4 nothing game, you know what? Still close enough. Nino's thrown out 18% of base stealers. So there's a there's an opportunity to steal for Shohei. And, and he's he going. He's got a good jump to throw. Safe. Oh, he's off the bag and he's out. He feels like he was he was pushed off the bag, is what Shohei was alluding to there. Thought he had a beat. Well, he had a great jump and that acceleration speed. It worked earlier on the stolen base. Mike Gallego calling in Ryan Darko. Stand beat it. Standing O right now for Shohei as he heads back to the dugout. Wide slide. So he feels he was the hard tag, Gooby. What's the ruling on that? The hard tag. It's I baseball. think it's, it's baseball. It's a baseball play. Yep. Uh, he beat it there. Yep. But this, this watch how smart Shohei is on the slide. He's going to that back part of the base, a longer tag for the play at second. 
and he beats it initially, but he couldn't stay on the base. But still, he just knows everything to do well in this game. So just to reflect back to last night, seven innings, 117 pitches, a 3-2 victory, and then tonight, yep. a home run, a single, and a caught stealing the legs on this young man. He's looking for his 23rd stolen base to go along with his 43rd home run. Two down in the eighth. Again, Jose Suarez has been dealing for the Angels. Phil Gosselin at the plate. That's a ground ball. Culberson having a tough night. And Gosselin's at first base. Charlie might be picking up an E5 on that one, Gooby. Yes. Even with the speed of Gossip going down the line, a play you usually see Culberson make. Second error of the night. Jack Mayfield steps in. Get to our Hyundai key of the game. Waves, we've seen that so far with a couple of big home runs. It's offensive waves, but really it's been story of the night the way Jose Suarez has thrown the baseball and the waves of intense defense behind him. Jack's going to see a lot of playing time down the stretch. He's got power. We've seen that. And if he can put an exclamation point on this one. Lined out to center field. Tavares. Great, great jump. Just great jump. He's a great outfielder. That's a great route he took. Runs that one down. Jose Suarez time. Nurse. Have new money goals? NerdWallet can help you find the mortgage lender to make them happen. Like getting a low rate on a downtown loft? We can help find the right lender. Or move out of the city since you're virtual now? We can find you loans for that. Want to refinance your home, free up cash, and redo your kitchen slash home office? Yup, we've got tips for that too. Whether you refi or buy, easily discover and compare the smartest mortgage lenders. For all your money questions, turn to the nerds. A lot can happen with a simple... Tell your story, get people excited. To get connected, to share, and sell anywhere, just, and start making a different future. Start different at GoDaddy.com. Sports is brought to you by Nissan. Choose Nissan today for great offers on our most exciting lineup ever. Shop NissanUSA.com. By Morongo Resort Casino and Spa. And by SDG Candy. E. So Jose Suarez looking to finish what he started. Looking to take this one the distance. 4-0 lead, top of the ninth. Only 87 pitches. Top of the order, Leody Tavares is at the plate. Strike one. There's that change. Boy, well, just so consistent getting ahead of the count. Remember going back to the start of the game, 1 0 counts. Batters, after they start off 102-80 batting average, when he starts ahead of the count, 0-1, just a 191 batting average against Suarez this year. 
Tremendous performance by Suarez. Strike two. Tomorrow, Gooby, the debut of Jansen Junk for the Angels. Acquired from the Yankees in the Andrew Heaney trade. Almost had a perfect game in the minor leagues. The Trash Pandas. Also got Reed Detmers back off that COVID IL, which is good to see. 0-2 now. Suarez to Tavares. That's a ground ball. Fletcher, he has it. Oh, what a throw. Dropped by Walsh. Off the bounce. Tavares is at first base. Great effort by Fletch. What a great play that was. You have to get rid of it quickly because of the speed. Flies down the line. Have to take another look at that. Pretty good swing for Tavares going the other way. And Fletch off balance, a long throw. One hop throw. It is just off the end of the glove for Jared Walsh. Ends up being an infield hit. But would have got him if he was able to control that baseball in the glove. He gets him. Take Iglesias up in the bullpen now. <laughs> Tough break there for Suarez. He got the ground ball. Two strikes on Tavares. In case you're wondering at home, last complete game by an angel pitcher, Dylan Bundy. That's to August. Last year. So this would be the first of this season. Good change up. Isaiah Kiner Falefa is 0 for 3. Adolis Garcia is on deck. Big bat, but he struck out three times. 1 1. Again, great speed on the bases. And Tavares, who could absolutely fly. Touched on that. Suarez looking to finish this one off. Don't necessarily see anybody up in the bullpen right now, Mark. This is his ball game currently. Check that Iglesias is up. Was still a lot of confidence in all three of his pitches for Suarez. He will throw a 2-1 curveball. You know how good his changeup has been. Fastball command, excellent. So, change, curve, or the four-seamer? I think it looks like he shook off a fastball in. He's going, wants to go break a ball, looks like here. Go back to another break a ball, curveball. Bounce that one. Tavares takes off. He'll take second base easily. And I was watching the signs being put down by Kurt Suzuki. He went fastball. He wanted a fastball in because he, he knew the kind of Falefa was looking something secondary, an off-speed pitch. It's when a lot of times you trust your catcher there. It's the feel because he's seeing, he's seeing something. He's seeing the feet, the eyes, the hands of a hitter at the plate and see if he can bust the fastball in. And it's your game as a pitcher. You decide what you feel more comfortable throwing. He decided he wanted a curveball, but just bounced it. Well, if he loses Kiner Falefa here, you wonder if this could be it. Wait and see. Big pitch, full count. Last time he tried to throw down there to second base and get Tavares. Didn't work out. So nothing on there. Again, Garcia. 29 bombs is on deck. 3 2 again. Go back to Gooby here on the pitch choice. <laughs> Little chess match here. Kind of Falefa, just like David Fletcher, makes a lot of contact. Yep. More difficult to make a solid contact swing on a changeup going down, though. It was the changeup. That's a deep fly ball. Brandon Marsh is in there. 
Tavares is going to tag up one down. So it looks like Lagaris moves to right. Marsh comes into center. Adele is now in left field. It's a little defensive adjustment. Looked like that was a good move because Marsh had a great read on that one. So one down, runner at third base. And you know after you've struck out three times already, mm -hmm. and he's been aggressive on the first pitch, you know he's going to be ultra aggressive on the first pitch here. He doesn't want to fall behind. Garcia wants to avoid that golden sombrero. Struck out three times swinging. Upstairs. Trying to run that fastball in on the hand. That's a veteran catcher behind the plate because an RBI guy at the plate, best pitch to throw, first pitch, right on the hands of fastball. Ground ball. Runs going to score. It's an RBI for Garcia, two down, 4 1 ball game. It's all about outs. That's you, it. You love shutouts, but you got a chance at a complete game here now. And all that stands between Jose Suarez and a complete game right now is DJ Peters. Peters has struck out the last two times he's been up. He's grounded out. He's swinging and then looking last time. The Angels trying to climb back to 500 for the 26th time this season. This would be a great moment for Suarez. Base is empty. Ground ball. He's everywhere. Fletcher across the diamond, and it is done. Jose Suarez, complete game, first of the year for the Angels. What a performance. And I love that right there. Kurt Suzuki, Jose Suarez embracing after a magical on, night for Suarez. First home victory is a complete game victory for Suarez. What an effort. Look at that smile on the both of them. Gotta love that. Baseball, what a great game this is. Incredible night for Jose Suarez to see a complete game. You just don't see him that often anymore, Mark. And Jose Suarez, who had never had a quality start in his career, goes the distance. Was that pitch 100? Right at the century mark. Century mark, he gets it done. Talk about efficiency. This is the moment you love right here. These hugs, Joe Madden coming in for his young lefty. Congratulations, Jose Suarez and Shohei Otani. Three-run home run is 43rd. A little insurance. Lagarus a home run, but our Toyota player of the game, Gooby, Jose Suarez. No doubt. Every day you talk about what your job and what your goal is as a starting pitcher is to shake the catcher's hand at the end of nine incredible innings. Nine incredible innings for Jose Suarez tonight. Mission accomplished. Not only shook Kurt Suzuki's hand, he got handshakes from everybody. That's a great job, and he followed up from Shohei Otani's performance last night and pitched a gem, and our hero standing by with Jose Moda. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, dame la clave en el día de hoy para ti, que fue para este tipo de partido. What was the key for you in this outstanding performance here tonight? <sighs> a lot of concentration, man. A lot of concentration, focus on my song, every pitch, and attacking the strike, the, the strike song. You did a good job so everybody can understand you. Okay, so how much credit do you give Kurt Suzuki in being able to throw this type of game? A lot. It's my best, my best friend um, during the game, no, when, when no pitch, but he's a good guy, really good guy. What can you learn from this performance to carry on moving forward to help you out, become a better pitcher? Uh, I learned, like, keep working. Keep working hard and keep playing. You have a guy playing shortstop that is from your same hometown, Naguanagua in Venezuela, and Renjifo. He was clutch making plays because you work fast. How much did you learn about working fast pace to make those plays for you? It's my boy. That's my boy. It's my boy, Renjifo. It's my best friend, like in the little league. He's my best friend right here. Felicidades. Congratulations. Thank you, man.
Jose Suarez, my goodness. Talk about uh, some childhood memories with Renjifo playing with him in Little League over in Naguanagua. So the Angels, outstanding performance all the way around from Suarez, Shohei. How about Ken French? How about Kingfish? How about the boys upstairs breaking it all down? Angels Live coming right up.